Brad, the day was last week. Okay. And uh, it was actually right after we recorded the podcast last week. I went to Chicken Filet and yes. uh, I'm in line and one of my worst nightmares comes true. Mm, that's a little extreme. Okay. Just a slight bummer comes true. Okay. A police officer comes right behind me. My license plates are still a temporary tag that expired in August. So yeah, I could avoid I think about that every time I see your car. <laughs> <laughs> I think about what I'm going to say when I do get pulled over. Sure. And uh, who it's knows? COVID. COVID is always the <laughs> excuse. Seriously. It's like, it's like we're in the middle of a t- pandemic. I'm not comfortable going to the DMV right now. <laughs> I, I like not even saying a full sentence. Just saying COVID. Hey, COVID, 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 When you, when you <laughs> put, put your hands up. Hey, yeah, COVID, 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 COVID. <laughs> Everybody COVID. <laughs> Everybody COVID right now. Huh? You. Hey. Go, 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 go. Like, don't even get the whole word out. Hey, go, 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 Put the keys on the dash. Go, 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 go. Uh, uh oh, ooh, I, ooh, I think this tight beat means that it's going down with some random thoughts and white meat too. Midwest best friends eating fast food on repeat. So come along, let's have some fun and go ahead, get on your feet, cause it's the Ghost Runners Podcast. Okay, that was great. I didn't even get to the story. This is going to be a good episode. Um, <laughs> I feel it's, it's late night episodes, baby. It's late. Uh, yeah. This is, um, yeah, the, the if fall. You are listening, if you are a West Coaster that likes oh, to yeah. listen right when it comes out, you had to wait a little while because we are recording pretty much almost about the time that you like to listen to it. So Yeah, it, but also it was more of like a live stream for you because you got to listen to this episode, I mean, hours after yeah, we recorded just it. Just a delayed live stream is what mm-hmm. we call that. However long it takes for me to send it to Justin and him to send it to <laughs> YouTube.com and then that's that's how quickly you got it. Yeah. But um, Let's make this really hard on Justin. Like, let's do a lot okay. of edits. Let's like, hey, Justin, <laughs> add that add that clip in here. Justin, during the COVID part at the beginning, can you like <laughs> animate it? Like a car- car- <laughs> cartoonize it? Yeah, just like pixelate it all. Like, go, 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 go. Yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. That'd be yeah. cool. No, please don't. Please, please don't. <laughs> um, anyway, uh, so a police officer is behind me. I'm texting Rachel like, hey, what do you want from Chick-fil-A? Also. Also, Krupke's behind me. <laughs> yeah. Also, I'm yelling out COVID. Do you think right, that's right. cool? <laughs> Should I do more or less? <laughs> Brad told me. And she was like, I was like, what do I do? And she's like, you should pay for their food. I was like, oh, okay, that's good. That's called bribing the cops. That is, is called great. a nice gesture. Mm-hmm. And we'll see. It's yeah. in their hands now. Well, no, I was just paying for his food. But no, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm like, oh, good idea. I was like, but I'm almost positive cops eat free at Chick-fil-A. 100% they do. And she was like, try it anyway. Okay. I was like, eh, that is kind yeah, of fun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you're fun to date. Sure, yeah. Okay. So I get up there. Well, I don't have as much money, you know, because <laughs> yeah, I'm dating like, you. Pay but... for that person. Pay for that person. I'm like, this is so fun. <laughs> and give, uh, give them your flowers. It's fine. The tulips. They'll love the tulips. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You got to have. Oh, wait, that did happen. I took Rachel on a, a Japan themed date the other night. <laughs> and it's, the second we got out of the car, I mean, just instantly accosted. Excuse me. Excuse me. And I guess just in my old age, I've been hardened to the, excuse me, I keep walking. Oh. But then the person goes, ma'am. And I'm like, ah, now we got to turn around. So she gets Rachel's attention. I turn around with her. And the first sentence out of this woman's mouth is, I don't do drugs. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> well, the people who aren't doing drugs don't start their sentences that way. <laughs> so I don't know. And um, poor Rachel. Well, basically what I'm saying is Rachel had to give her money up because this yeah, woman yeah. only needed $3, okay. which is not much to, yeah. to need that bad. It's like, I only need $3. $3. I really need $3. And I was like, I legitimately don't have cash. And Rachel was like, I have some. And she's like, thank you guys so much. It, I was just, I really wanted to find someone who spoke English. <laughs> in, oh, yeah. In Overland Park. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's a huge, it's a, it's a huge international area. <laughs> <laughs> we were outside of a Japanese steakhouse. Yeah. <laughs> so I think she was just like, I mean, I can't pronounce that. Yeah. So, I mean, I, I mean, ma, ma, he, may he, may he, I don't know. Ah, uh, gosh, I hope somebody knows what they're talking about here. Steak lounge, lounge. Well, the crazy thing is that like, if you go to a Japanese steakhouse, everyone that goes there is, is Japanese except for you. It's sure. exclusively Japanese. They right. don't even give you forks if you ask for them. No, 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 it's no, chopsticks no. only. And like, honestly, most of the workers that are Mexican are actually Japanese. Like it's like, <laughs> you know, it's, not, it's like, it's like half the people that are like the Japanese people that like cut like the chefs. They're mm-hmm. not, they're, they're Mexican. <laughs> Their names are Juan. Like that. Dude, this is so funny. Literally a few hours ago, I was home with my dad and he was telling me a story. He's got a new customer 
who is like a hibachi chef or whatever. Yeah. My dad was trying to get to know him and they were, he's talking over the phone and he can't understand him anyway. He, my dad can't hear, hear me talk you sure. know, over the phone. Right. And so he's like, what's your name? And the guy tells him a couple times and he's like, now how do you spell that? My dad has no clue. And then eventually the guy just goes, uh, why don't we go with Jose? <laughs> like those Mexican guys. And my dad's like, all right, we can go with Jose. And so it's been like six months. My dad still calls him Jose. And you know, this guy's straight from Korea. Or something. His name is definitely not Jose. So yeah. you're right. There is a blend. No, yeah. Yeah, and- it's, not, it's not like a Japanese steakhouse. It's only Japanese people. <laughs> and then Jake and Rachel trying to like culture themselves. <laughs> it's not like a true Japanese experience, you know? Yeah, but- it was quite the, just like, I'm so glad I found someone who spoke English. And then she's like, you know what? Rachel gets her billfold out mm-hmm. or like a wallet. I probably $13. <laughs> it's like, oh, well, the price went up pretty quick. Jeez. Um, so Rachel had to give money away. I'm never going to get through this Chick-fil-A story. No, I'm fine. never, ever going to get done no, with Rachel's it. just sweet. Is what you're <laughs> she's saying. nice. It's fun. Uh, she's like, you pay, should pay for them. So I'm like, uh, cop seat free. She's like, you do it anyway. Mm-hmm. So I go up to the window and uh, there's probably a 17 year old kid. Take it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> There's, I mean, this kid's probably, I don't know, 16, 17. <laughs> I think it's I've been hanging out with my grandparents. <laughs> well, <laughs> that, <laughs> now was it? He was a tall casserole. guy. <laughs> he was six, one, six, four, six, <laughs> three and a half, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> he was a tall guy. All right. 17 year old okay. Chick-fil-A worker. Why did I do that? Why did I blow air out of my mouth? I love? loved it. I don't know. I think I've been do doing that often. to Rachel to try to be funny when I'm just like okay. being goofy or whatever. Like, no, I think it's a great delivery thing. We could go to oh, a <laughs> you know, whatever. Anyway, okay, so uh 17-year-old kid, he's like, um, you know, that'll be 984. I'm like, thank you. I'd actually like to pay for the car behind me. And I could tell he he looks at the car, he like identifies it that it's police and i could tell the inner like he didn't know what to do yeah because then he hits me with the probably a little bit he like looks at the car looks back at me and he's just not saying anything for a while he's like oh okay okay cool okay awesome thanks and so i'm like i don't know what he's gonna do i put him in a situation i think where he doesn't know what to do and uh comes back out and he says thank you here's your food and uh here's your receipts Two receipts. Yeah. I had to freaking pay for both of them. <laughs> so instead of the cop eating for free on Chick Fil A's dime, I had to pay for the police officer. Was the, this, the kid just charged me full price for the police? Was this Drew's Chick Fil A or which, which? No, this was uh, the Fifth. new one, ninety fifth Metcalf. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. so we know we know the owner there too, though. We'll talk to him. Is that Derek? Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Wait, I sh- cool. Yeah. Someone said hi to me inside of there. I don't know who they were. It wasn't Derek. I mean, I know who Derek is. <laughs> I think it was Derek. I don't know. We're not that close of friends. I don't know. He's probably 33. Looked like he worked at K-West 10 years ago. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, we were good friends at one point. Uh, that's funny. Dude, someone yesterday, Hawaiian Rose, came right up to me, and I did recognize her, and she was like, Jake, oh my gosh. And I was like, you worked at K-West? And she's like, yes. And I was like, in, you went to KU. She goes, no. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Why did I do that? Just stop at the K-West. No, I thing. like it. I like it. it I, 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 like, every time you get one right, you have to go one more. <laughs> like until you get th- something and, wrong. And, yeah. yeah. And, well, what I did is I just kept getting them wrong. And I go, oh, oh. No, Pitt State. She's like, no. <laughs> oh, you doubled down. <laughs> yeah. You're like, no, sorry. Different different school in Kansas. Well, um, that's the thing. I, I had that right. I knew she was from Kansas. Okay, let me try to guess it then. Can I, did you figure it out? I will give you, no, you won't. nine guesses. Really? Nine guesses for schools in Kansas. Really? Yeah. Tabor. Oh, <laughs> I knew it. A <laughs> loser. <laughs> yeah. How did that happen? Oh. Did Kendra text you? Put it on there, Justin. <laughs> Put like some big crazy things in it. <laughs> How did, did you have Kate country people from Tabor? Yeah. Oh, dude. I thought, I thought we were the only people exporting. It's like a Christian school. I, but still, I just, I never heard of it since then. I never, <laughs> I, I thought there were no other like Tabor people. I thought we had like a, a pipeline straight from us, <laughs> from Kate West to Tabor. Good I mean, job. I mean, nine schools. There's not that many schools in Kansas <laughs> anyway. I could have figured it out in nine. I thought maybe you'd go community college or something. Oh, no Tabor. Way. Yeah. So I go Pitt State. She's like, no. My, wait, <laughs> my dude said nine <laughs> schools and daddy guessed it in one. All right. <laughs> Let that be known. <laughs> this guy didn't have any confidence in me. Jeez, I forgot who your dad was. That's yeah, what exactly. it is. Oh, dude, that, re- that we're going all over the place right now. That reminds me, the bracket just came out, and I know it's a little bit late. Oh, it's I probably too that. late, but I think it'll be really fun. Maybe we'll do it next week. He'll have a little more time to prepare. But I bet we could call him and be like, Dad, where's Bryant State? And he'd be like, Oh, Bryant State, that's in so and so Pennsylvania. Like, <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, it would have been a fun thing. So next year or, or next week. Tomorrow. 
or tomorrow. We might be we were in a little bit of a pickle. <laughs> Recording right now at 10.50 p.m. And uh, right now, we don't know how we're going to get the next episode out. We'll figure it out, but we're oh, both... Monday. It has to be Monday. Monday night, probably? I think so. Okay. Or Tuesday <laughs> really early. <laughs> probably 24 hours from now, we'll make it happen. But we'll be fresh off the basketball game. Yeah. Uh, what are we talking about? I don't know. Uh, the uh, oh, Hawaiian Bros. Kendra, it doesn't matter. That came from another story. Basically, she just saw me and I <laughs> I was so confident and she's like, Tabor. I was like, ah, Peckham Jays. Oh, yeah, what which, they say? I don't know. The, the people at <laughs> K West did. Yeah. Um, that I bombed a few times in public this week, actually, not just a Hawaiian Bros yesterday, but um, on the golf course. Rachel's uh, bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that was on Patreon. <laughs> that was a good one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It made a, a breakthrough. I titled the Patreon post Breaking News. I and mean, I didn't really mean to clickbait people. I just I thought I considered it breaking news. Yeah. We made a we made a big move. Um I made a, a couple moves. I, I do have Rachel. questions about that, but do you do you would you rather not go too specifically? No, we could talk. Um okay. Your bowel movements, from what I've heard, normally take a while. <laughs> Dude, I've been eating fruit. Yeah, we're so we're so steady. Fruit, gotcha. Fruit, fruit, did fruit the trick. fruits ripening me up. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, been eating a lot of acai bowls. Sure, um, getting some fiber. Yeah, you ever heard of grapefruit? It's uh, confusing because yeah. fruits in the name. Yeah, turns out it's not just a grape. I thought people were just saying, "Hey, do you want this grape?" Yeah, fruit. which is a fruit. I'm like, I know it's a fruit, and you taste it, and you're like, "This is different." <laughs> this is. I've had grapes. I've had fruit. I think we've talked about this one time on the podcast, but just look up sometime Aziz and Sorry. Uh, grapefruit. Oh, like, dang it. They, they have a great like uh, stand up bit. I think it's 50 Cent or something that like, I don't know. I don't remember exactly what it was, but 50 Cent was somehow very confused the first time he had grapefruit. Dang it. I thought I was coming up with something original on the fly right there. <laughs> He's like, what's up with all these oranges? That's oh, what he said. yeah. It's the way the way is these. I remember his his delivery was just so funny. So uh, anyway, yeah. Grapefruit getting you. You liking that? I had it uh, in Phoenix once. OK, we have grapefruit spoons at our house. You know, wider are, deeper uh, they're serrated on the edges oh and so you because because when you eat a grapefruit do you like cut around the edge first uh knife? i think i cut it in half and then scoop out yes so you cut it in half and then you you cut around the edge oh i see what you're saying yeah so yeah. you cut around with the edge yeah, with your spoon yeah yeah and yeah, yeah, you, yeah yeah it's nice serrated yeah we we don't use them very often so if you'd like one sometime <laughs> if you're getting into the grapefruit habit i'll talk to I'll rachel know. everything fruit related kind of comes through her first yeah so i'll run it by her okay but maybe yeah she's your fruit girl <laughs> <laughs> gotta have one yeah anyway um where are we here what are we uh oh i bombed in public okay so this is um this is phoenix golf course yes uh cart girl Tell us about Phoenix. I don't think we talked about you going to Phoenix last week, did we? I don't think we all. I think we also kind of dropped a bomb on everyone about the girls channel. <laughs> yeah. I, You're like, I, what is this? It's so hard to know who I've told what to. That's and fair. We'll okay, get to it. I wrote down in my notes for this week, girls channel. But you went to Phoenix with our friends. Yes. This we time did kind of allude to it last week. Did we? Ahead. Okay. I don't know. Yeah, Cause I said like, no one's going to be at the basketball game. Cause you guys are all. Going That's to right. It. But a year ago, me, Scott sell, Isaac McDonald and Luke Hogan.com all played in a pickleball tournament in Phoenix. Luke's, Parents have a place down there. We're going to stay for free. Phoenix, Arizona. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you sounded like Forrest Gump. Greenbow, <laughs> Alabama. Alabama. Yeah. <laughs> hey, put that clip in, Justin. <laughs> hey, put that movie in, Justin. Put the whole thing in. <laughs> Just a two-hour movie in yeah. the middle. You have to scrub through that, and then it's the rest of the podcast. <laughs> um, but, uh, oh, so we were like, let's do that again. But now we're into golf. Like, it's funny. Like, Luke's parents live on a golf course, and I didn't golf once last year. I had no interest. I, like they, I think they went golfing and I took a nap. I'm like, why That's in the crazy. world yeah. would I do that? Yeah. And now I'm so obsessed and love it so much. But, uh, so we went this year as kind of a half pickleball, half golf trip. It was very fun. And, uh, I've talked about it before when Isaac goes on trips, he's an even more fun version of himself. I'm sure oh, you, yeah. maybe you got to see it at Trinidad. He was also pretty young at the time. So I don't know, but. Oh, he's so fun. I mean, he's just a fun, he, he embraces the moment, right? He does. Like, he he's does great with strangers. Yes. And, uh, is very fun. And I talked about that in our Hawaii trip. Like yeah. he would. He loved because he knew it tickled me so much saying the most basic things possible while you're hiking. Like we'd be on our way back down from the hike. We've already done it. He's like, you guys, it's so worth it. You guys, it's so worth it. You're just so annoying. It's just like, stop, dude. So what did he do? Uh, and so he was just doing all sorts of stuff to like, you know, old white guys on the golf course, mm -hmm. like hitting them straight. I'm like, dude, why are you even doing this? Stop engaging in this annoying small talk. You know, the like funny thing better is than working, huh, guys? <laughs> The funny thing is that Isaac is like, 
probably 40% genuine. There's a little bit of it. Like he just wants like, to talk. Like he really likes people. Like I think like he's, he's always had like random, like old, like, like his neighbor, his next door neighbor is this old woman, old single woman. And like every year he would like help her out with her Christmas decorations. It's like really genuinely loved it. Like, so I think he like, I bet he likes the entertainment value for you, but I think on the other side, he's like, I love talking. To these Don't people. not interact with yeah. them. I mean, our old house neighbor, Judy, Isaac was definitely exactly. her favorite. Exactly. Only one that she had his, uh, the phone number of. Right. So that's also maybe like, why. Like my aunt Cindy lives two streets down from you. And like, she'll text me and be like, can you do this for me? And I'm like, I can, but I don't know when I'm going to get out there, but I guarantee you Isaac would do it in a heartbeat. Like <laughs> I never, I never, I never mentioned the other roommates. I always mentioned Isaac. So, cause Isaac's just such a fun guy like that. But anyway, so he's just hamming it up with all these guys. Yeah, with anyone. But then a cart girl is another aspect of golf, which right. is just like usually a younger woman who comes around and I think tries to make tip money off yeah. of guys flirting with her. Or whatever. They ate a cart girl in high school. Hello. Whoa, how was that? It was electric. She enjoy your three wood? Yep. And four. <laughs> three, try six. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, I, want to, I want to so bad. All right. All right. I'm not going to say it. Oh, my gosh. Oh. Comment, comment it below in the YouTube comments. <laughs> Justin, put in the subtitles. Put in the subtitles what I'm thinking right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, like it's like hurting your brain oh my gosh <laughs> okay okay i'm gonna move on so isaac interacting with the cart girls is also funny throughout the weekend not because he's flirting with them but just because he's being like so basic and they never realize that isaac's joking so sure. we're not it's just this funny dynamic well anyway isaac's talking to this one girl and this girl one girl was very attractive but i don't think isaac was flirting with her necessarily but she was kind of maybe flirting back a little bit isaac gets back in the car he's like yo me and avery you know whatever <laughs> so like hey you know, you'll see her again about six holes. Like, let's let's gear up. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever. And um, she comes back by. All the other guys are on the green still. I'm done. So I run over. I'm like, I'll snag something for all of us. So I'm talking to her. I buy some things. And she was like, oh, OK. I was like, I don't have cash, but you do credit cards. She's like, I could type it in manually or Venmo. I was like, Maybe let's do Venmo then. <laughs> Definitely. And she's like, OK, fun. And so I Venmo her. Which seems like this money is just going directly to her. Sure. And, you know, she's telling me her first and last name. Right. And uh, when I go to Venmo, because I don't know her at all, Venmo makes you do that thing where you confirm yeah, your last yeah, four yeah. digits. Right. So she is about to pull off. I'm like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Um, Venmo, I need like the last four digits of your uh, phone number. Mm -hmm. And um, she's like, oh, okay. I was like, <laughs> funny how that works out. Yeah, right? I mean, why don't you just give me all, all 10 of them? <laughs> and so that's, yeah. So yeah. then I, she's like, ha ha. And I was like, and it's weird, like Venmo... Now my friend on Venmo is saying that I, he needs your area code <laughs> yeah. and like the numbers were that. And she was like, oh, it needs the area code. And I was like, no, no. I was just like messing with you. I was just joking. She's like, oh, oh you were like doing the joke. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, yeah, yeah. And so she's like, okay, it's eight, five, seven, four. I was like, wait, now it's saying now my friend needs to know what you're doing later tonight. <laughs> she's like, wait, Venmo is saying, that? I'm like, no, I'm still, I'm still doing the joke. She's like, oh, oh, man. oh nice. And now nice. my friend definitely is not interested in you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It was brutal. It was, um, she did not have my three wood. That's great. Um, it yeah. was, it was awful. Isaac's like, dude, did you talk me up? I, was like, I, <laughs> I, I tried my brother. I, I said, dude, I tried and it did. It, you don't want her. Yeah. yeah. It did not go well. <laughs> not going to be worth it. Uh, yeah. She was very quick to be like, oh, you're doing the joke. I, you okay. should do that more often. Okay. Maybe you practice your jokes. You'd be funnier. You could do it. I you think could, you could. You could do it. You could figure it out. You got the face for it. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, that's, so that was kind of fun. Then the rest of the trip, it was all about Avery and just, um, right. you know, the one that got away. I did enjoy your uh, little Instagram account. Oh, that was kind of fun. Cacti guys. Cacti guys. Yeah. Yeah. Little sneak peek for the ghosties. I don't think the account is over with. I think we might do some stuff with that. It's kind of like fun. It. So, okay. With some golf stuff here in Kansas City. But yeah, it was fun. All the ghosties. I knew the ghosties would come over. They're so great. Yeah, all the comments. Course. And yeah, you got like 500 followers in the first day or something like that. Yeah. I think it got up to like 800 or something. So, um, that was fun. Thank yeah. you guys for joining along. The golf tracker thing. Is oh yeah. That, is that just like a free app? Is that just like an, it, like it's try $6 app. Okay. <laughs> well, it was, one those, it was one of those things where it's like, that's amazing to me, but maybe to like golf people, it's like, yeah, dude, that's just like the most normal thing. I don't know. To me, I'm like, I didn't know that you could, I don't think it's that normal app that could track your ball like that. That's really cool. Yeah. And I think it would be easier if you had a tripod, but we were just trying mm -hmm. to like steady hand it gotcha. <clears throat> ourselves. And then Isaac would have to go in later and kind of manipulate it. Oh, okay. Um, it was funny. So we had that idea beforehand. So we we're like, it's like 1030 at night. We're in Phoenix, Arizona. Okay. And we're like, 
It'd be great to get a tripod for the course tomorrow. It's so we're trying to find like uh, Walmart. That's, that's the most like you thing though. Yeah. Like, like we're dude, you're, it'd be all, thank like, me if later. We do it like we thank gotta get later. a tripod, right? Mm. <laughs> Isaac was like very in on it too though. So yeah. Isaac and I yeah, together, yeah, yeah. and so but like everything is shutting down super early. COVID, 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 COVID. Hey, COVID, COVID, COVID. <laughs> It's like Walmart's are closed, Targets are closed. Really? CVS, uh, Walgreens are like they wouldn't have had them. Probably wouldn't have. Actually, yeah, I think they were open and didn't have them. Yeah, you're right. Um, Walmart Isaac, this whole time that I am looking for things, I'm looking for Walmart, looking for Targets. Isaac's like, I mean, Ross is open, and I'm like, all right, l- let me like see some other things. I'm like, ah, Target is even closed, guys. Ross is not that far away. Why would Ross be open? That's weird. First of all, go ahead. Yeah, and I'm like, okay, let me. I'm going to the CVS online to see if they have like in store like any kind of tripod thing. Isaac's like, can we, can you drop me off at Ross in the meantime? <laughs> and I'm not like explicitly saying Ross is not going to have it, but I'm hinting to like, that's going to be a waste of time. Yeah. And eventually we have no other option and we're like, all right, fine. We'll drop you off at Ross. We don't even go inside with him. We just, dro- <laughs> we literally drop him off. Actually, this is the most Scott thing ever. We drop Scott off at Crumble Cookie and we drop <laughs> Isaac off at Ross and me and Luke stay in the car. Yeah. And uh, sure enough, I mean, it is legitimately probably 15 minutes later but isaac comes out of ross at a, like 11 15 at night holding a tripod <laughs> he found one in ross after we called them and they said we don't have tripods really he went in anyway see i could see ross having like the, a selfie stick or like you know like one of those like 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 car mount tripod kind of things oh, yeah. or something like like, like a, that's a ross like <laughs> like in the first couple rows like where you're waiting you know yeah. like at ross they always have like 10 different people like just like novelty registers th- things yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, all these different like chocolates and like lotions. And I could definitely <laughs> see like something like that, but not just like a straight up tripod. This is why you and Isaac are good at what you do. You're resourceful guys. Well, I, when you said Isaac was walking out with something, I was like, I could see Isaac walking out with something that would work, <laughs> but not, not an actual tripod. So that's amazing. Yeah. So he did find one and it was okay. so fun. It was just such a great start to the trip. I mean, he was so <laughs> proud of himself. He walked out of there. I told that you. Yeah. Yeah. He walked, I think he almost broke it. He threw it in the car when he got in. I told you they'd have one. And so then the rest of the trip, anytime we need anything, I was like, should we check her yeah, off? Hey, I mean, why not? They're open. Know. They're until midnight for some reason that is weird you're the only thing open is like R- ross and whataburger <laughs> or like the only things open late in phoenix uh, but gosh that was fun so anyway you guys uh, had a blast though it was yeah it was good it was i think if you saw any of the pictures or videos it was it looked warmer than it was okay because it was like it w- might get up to like 65 but it was pretty windy okay. and so it was like it's something about like phoenix arizona it's like dry it's a dry heat also a dry cold it did look it did look very windy as well yeah, it was very windy. So, you know, we would put on like hoodies and stuff even while golfing. So okay. it was still great. It was really fun. Luke and his parents are awesome. It's yeah. good to see. Oh, that reminds me of something. All right. I should have looked this up online. I think I can still remember. Okay. One night I got a shower. Mike, Luke's dad calls me. and He's like, Jake, I got a quiz for you. Like, All right. What does this mean? Oh, but down. Only for you. Well, I guess they had taken other guys had taken it earlier while oh, I was okay. in the shower. I just didn't realize that. I gotcha. thought that probably knew Mike had an algebra quiz for me. Sure. So I was very excited. Anyway. It's not an algebra quiz. It looks like it came from an email forward. Mm -hmm. (laughs) So he's like, don't scroll down. (laughs) So I was like, okay. I love it. Yeah. (laughs) So quiz question number one is, how do you get an elephant in the refrigerator? What do you think, Brad? Or just walk me through what you're thinking. Uh, One bite at a time. One one body part at a time. Something like that. Yeah. Um, That's what I've always heard. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Oh, okay. That's so, good. Was that a email as well? That was a uh, motivational quote from, I don't know. No, I'm just kidding. Um, Manute Bowl. Yeah. <clears throat> um, so. That's my th- thought though. How do you get okay. an elephant? In the, you yeah. push. <laughs> you tell them, get in there. Uh, you get an elephant trainer. My thought, I went a little over the top. I was like, I mean, I guess you probably cut them up. Okay. And then you like dissolve them or like blend them into liquid and then you you liquefy that elephant or you know, walter white them or something you get them in there something scientific is how you get them in there you get a really big refrigerator <laughs> the answer was open the refrigerator put the elephant in and close the door okay some people and then there were, like there's a life lesson with it it's like sometimes people like to complicate things yeah, they like to overthink sure. Sure. sometimes in life things are just simple well some people like to assume that most refrigerators <laughs> don't hold an elephant <laughs> And those people are closed minded <laughs> is what that is. Like, okay. So then sure. scroll down. Question. Some number. people like to assume that <laughs> elephants are really big, but elephants and, actually, when they're born are a measly 345 pounds. And you'd be shocked at how big refrigerators can get industrial right. military grade right. fridges. Were you assuming this was like a normal run of the mill? <laughs> <laughs> 
huge <laughs> industrial refrigerator because it still wouldn't fit it. Anyway. Question number two. Okay. How do you put a giraffe into a refrigerator? Here we go. You move the elephant to the side. <laughs> Duck down the neck, <laughs> push the giraffe in. Duck down the neck. <laughs> That's good. That was probably better than my answer. I was like, I was torn here because I was like, I'm annoyed. I, I was, I'm annoyed yeah. at this already. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Mike, just tell me the answer. <laughs> yeah, because I'm not gonna get it right. And like, like, and my answer is right. <laughs> In, in subjectively. Yeah. Once I saw question two, I was like, all right. Some this people is lose, assume lose. that giraffes are the ones with long necks, <laughs> but really it's all about the perspective you're looking at. It. No, a giraffe in Eastern Africa yeah. is a name for a shoe. <laughs> it's actually named for the ice cube. Yeah. It was already in the refrigerator. Yeah, you gotcha. idiot. <laughs> so the, the answer, well, I didn't know what to do. I was like, I don't know if this is like, now it's a trick question. Mm -hmm. Is this a riddle the whole time? What mm -hmm. life lesson am I learning? I was like, you know what? I'm going to play their game. Yes. I'm going to select the answer. You know what is just be the fool is you just open up the door and put the giraffe in just mm -hmm. like the first one. And then it says, uh, did you say open up the refrigerator and put the giraffe in? Because that is incorrect. You need to open the refrigerator, take out the elephant and put in the giraffe and close the door. This tests your ability to think through the repercussions of your actions. Sometimes people forget what they've just done. What are they talking about? Mike. <laughs> Why are we assuming that a refrigerator can't fit both? Oh, dude, I couldn't fall asleep that night thinking about this refrigerator. You told me a fridge, a fridge can hold an elephant, but not an elephant and a giraffe. It's really tight in there, though, <laughs> with Dumbo. It is exactly. We can't fit the giraffe in there. It is just perfectly one elephant <laughs> size. No, 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 no. That's the only thing it could fit. Giraffes are nimble, too. They could get in all the nooks. <laughs> like, like an elephant alone probably has a giraffe's worth from, like, the 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 bottom of their torso yes. to the, the to their feet like a giraffe could easily weasel them this is like that here's an email for it for you yeah. you've got a jar you've got rocks you've got sand you've got water what order do you put them sure, in sure sure you... that's a devo there's a devo there <laughs> i like yeah. that one that one's good yeah you go big rocks you go sand you go yeah. water yeah god uh others yourself good yeah oh also yeah just right. solids and liquid sure also just science Elephant than giraffe, probably. Yeah. I mean, somebody out there knows how uh, uh, flexible that neck is of a giraffe. I guarantee <laughs> you, you could you could contort that thing and go right on the elephant. I watched Planet Earth too, and giraffes will fight each other with their necks. They can whip it around. That's right. So uh, yeah, they're very limber. Willow Smith, yes, <laughs> style. <laughs> they're the <laughs> they're the Willow Smith Smiths of the Serengeti. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so I'm like, Mike, what in the world kind of, and everyone's laughing, everyone's <laughs> laughing at it. You, know, you get, idiot, how did you not get that? And getting these questions wrong. I'm yeah. like, this is so dumb. <laughs> Can't believe I got out of the shower for this. <laughs> Question three. Uh-oh, this one doesn't look the same. It says, the Lion King is hosting an animal conference. All the animals attend except one. Which animal does not attend? I don't know, dude. Um, the one... Who's hosting? That's what I was thinking too. Mm. But I end up, this is the only one I got right. It's the gir giraffe doesn't go because he's still in the oh, refrigerator. Right. Of course. Okay, so that one, it's not too hard. Some people are assuming <laughs> that giraffes can't get themselves out of the refrigerator. Yeah. That's closed-minded. <laughs> I, I, you think a giraffe is going to miss the animal conference? All of a sudden, there's all these just <laughs> amazing like refrigerators, but, but, but yeah, we're like limiting the ability of everything else. Somebody's assuming, some people are assuming that the giraffe would never just knock on the door to get out of the refrigerator. Plus, he's a giraffe in a refrigerator, so he's probably dead. But, I mean, we got to take, what kind of animal conference? Who's speaking? Who's doing the music? True. How badly does, it, when's the last time the giraffe saw them in concert? Does he right. want to see them? Right. Does he want to attend? Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. I was trying to think of some good puns for uh, <laughs> animals. I couldn't think of Oh, uh, he'll just see the neck one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thanks. Yeah. Um, okay, last question. Question number four. I'm furious by this point. There is a river you must cross. Oh, sure. But it is inhabited by crocodiles. How do you like get across? Use a boat. That's what I was saying. Like, is there? You get a gun <laughs> and you shoot all the crocodiles that come close to you. I was trying to like even involve the animal conference. I was like, do I get some like what do crocodiles eat? Do I get some ferrets, some raccoons, <laughs> some small antelope? I'm gonna eat all the ferrets. Come with me for just a second. <laughs> hey, who's hey who's thirsty, guys? Uh, we're gonna do a big. We're gonna do a few breakout sessions. <laughs> ferrets with me, okay? Um, anyone feel like getting baptized? Yeah, right. <laughs> we're going into this river. We're gonna talk about small markets with ferrets, weasels, anything else. Uh, yeah, 
how to thrive. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, you throw all these small animals in there, and then while they're distracted, I scurry across the river. Sure. Also, just build a bridge. Also, go across a different river. Sure. Maybe pole vault across. Or, uh, yeah, get an airplane. Aeroplane. You were assuming <laughs> that this guy didn't know how to pilot an airplane. <laughs> a little puddle jumper. So I don't know what my answer was. It was definitely wrong. But um, correct answer is you swim across, silly. All the crocodiles are out attending the animal conference. Dang it. My goodness. That was, that was uh, that's fair. I Kind of. But, but, it's, but, but in the question? It's, the river, say the question again. There is a river you must cross, but it is inhabited by crocodiles. Inhabited, I guess, means inhabited. like typically. I thought you said infested. <laughs> inhabited is a little different because you can, you can take vacations from your habitat. It's like that's where they typically should be, but they're migrating. You're telling me every single animal in the world at this conference? I mean, I, I, and their one giraffe is not going to make their way there. I wonder who they got to the conference. <laughs> Can't think of a pun. <laughs> Tony Robbins. <laughs> oh, Robin. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. That's all I got. Probably maybe just the founder of Crocs. Yes. They had to go. That's good. They had to go. Or, um, never mind. <laughs> Lacoste is an alligator, but <laughs> nothing in the name. Uh, Anyway, this email ends by saying um, 90% of adult professionals say they got all the questions wrong, but many preschoolers got several answers correct. Yeah. This disproves the theory that most managers have the brains of a four-year-old. <laughs> well, uh -huh. I don't know, Mike. <laughs> that, that's, that's classic, like, I'm retired. Like, yeah, I'm yeah. reading these emails. But <laughs> I would have anyway, loved to hear Isaac answer those questions. Yeah, I missed out on that, uh, but I wasn't planning on talking yeah. about that. I forgot about all that. I love it, man. Anyway, that was Phoenix. It was good. Played good golf, and it, I got to wear a t-shirt sometimes. Did you win at golf ever? I think I won every... No, I, there was one version of the game, but yeah, I, I won more than I lost. Good. Which is fun. Yeah. That's awesome. I was playing well. It was a good time. I watched that one video of you... Uh, <laughs> So many times we were like, you ever, seen, you ever seen somebody drive a ball a quarter mile or a country <laughs> mile? And Isaac goes, well, what's a country mile? And you go, as you're, as you're swinging, you go, I'll show you. <laughs> and then everyone just dies laughing. I mean, I, because that's something I would have totally done at Top Golf. Yeah. But you did it on like a nice Arizona course. And we were like hitting, like that was my drive for the hole. <laughs> oh, it was so dumb. Because, you know, in golf, there's a lot of etiquette you have to learn. And one thing I learned early on is like, yeah, you don't talk in people's backswing, you yeah. know, really when they're addressing the ball at all. I've never heard someone say, don't talk in your own backswing. <laughs> I didn't know how that would go. Is it really that diff? Is it like, have you, have you had somebody recently talk in your backswing? It's fine. I don't, I don't get it. And, and I'm not a purist, obviously, or haven't even played golf enough, but I'm just like, I can't imagine that would make that much of a difference for me. Yeah, no, that we were playing. Someone screaming, you know, or like trying to heckle me. If they like tickled my buns. Sure, yeah, yeah, that would startle me. <laughs> Which didn't Gunner kind of do that one time? Not your Oh, buns, yeah, like... he went behind me. <laughs> yeah, on the first day. As you were about to swing. Yeah, I was like, oh, that was close. But there was one time Isaac was hitting the ball from a fairway and they were doing construction next to us. And right when Isaac started to hit, this like saw like got started up and Isaac continued to hit. And hit a really good shot. And so he was joking. He's like, I heard that saw go off and I knew I couldn't let him down. <laughs> and uh, then a few holes later, right in my backswing, this dog starts like yelping. And I was like, and I love dog. I know I couldn't let the dog oh, yeah. down, you know? So like yeah. you think like you're aware that there's noise happening, but it's not like you forget how to swing a golf club all of a sudden. It's I, fine. Yeah. I just feel like, I just feel like, like certain guys out there, are like, I know that I'm supposed to hit it bad once I hear, hear a noise. So yeah, I'm probably like mess it up and I'm mad. Like, yeah. Because because the first, the one time I golfed a 18 round or 18 holes, uh, one of my friends who was also very amateur, like the second hole, like there were some guys over like far away and he, he yelled at him as my friend who's like a golf purist was like backswinging. <laughs> <laughs> and my friend is the, the one that's a golf purist is like one of the nicest guys I'll ever you'll ever meet. He was like the classic like Christ figure in all the skits at Canica. Oh, you know, great. like, yeah. Uh, and so he didn't say much. But the other guy that was with us kind of just was like, like hey, don't do that. Don't do that during the backswing. <laughs> <laughs> and it was just classic because it was like he was quiet the whole time. And then right as he started swinging. Hey, you guys. <laughs> it like, and it was like it was something. You guys like, go to Pitt State? <laughs> <laughs> Tabor, I bet. <laughs> um, anyway, that's that's funny. I, I love it. Yeah. Thanks for joining that video. It was great. I yeah. mean, I just chunked a driver. It was great. Oh, man. Yeah. The way that you started laughing before you even swung it. <laughs> everyone else died laughing. I like I laughed every time. <laughs> Hattie and I watched it probably 10 times. Dang, that's awesome. So Yeah, we loved it, man. It was so. fun to film each other and kind of 
we, we don't normally film each other. You know, we yeah. do it for work, but we don't do it like casually ever. You yeah. know, so yeah. it's kind of fun. I'm sure Scott liked it because he's not a social media guy. So he's like, finally, I have oh, some fun things to post on social media. It was so funny explaining to Scott or like it was in between rounds. And I was like, all right, I think I want to start this Instagram up. And so he's like, um, I was like, I just went and did this. this and he's like, wait, you know, what'd you do? Because Scott doesn't have Instagram or anything. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have Facebook. And so I was like, oh, I'm posting to the account now. He's like, oh, do we have followers? I was like, no, I'm just kind of posting to have some stuff there. And just like getting to, he had all these questions and getting to like talk him through. He's like, okay, so, so now what is this? And I'm like, well, you know, it's kind of like, a, I'm, I'm going to be directing people to this Instagram from my Instagram. I don't want there to be anything blank mm-hmm. there. Yeah. And um, it was just kind of fun. It was like, I was talking to like someone like a, a time traveler yeah. or something. And well, also it showed to me that I was like, I, I think I just subconsciously know how to like promote things. And what sure. I didn't even think twice about it. it was sure. like, I should do a story on my page yeah. of something unrelated, but it's funny. And they're like, but guys, you can follow this. Also do this. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Also, could you believe that bicycle thing? That was 100% true. The, Which one? Like, it said, prove you're not a robot. It said, click all the bicycles. And then it was those men, it was like carved out men. Oh, yeah. I didn't really look at that too deeply, but it was a pretty inappropriate. I don't know picture. what was going on. It was. I did. I just saw click uh, like on all the bicycles and it was like, clearly there's no bicycles. And I was like, that's funny. I thought that was the joke. And it, then later I was like, you were kind of like going into like, no, this is kind of an awkward picture. And I was like, I didn't even realize. Yeah, that's what it is. It's like all these dudes just like, just kind of, they look like they're all in a race, uh, track and field. And maybe they're kind of like hurtling over each other. It's probably the, <laughs> the clean way of calling that. You know, when you like bend over yeah. when you're racing, you know, that's like the first Olympics I think is what that is. <laughs> Either way, no bikes, <laughs> no bikes, no, no more bikes. Yeah. Um, anyway, what'd you do this week? Oh man, this week I had, I have, I've, I've done some stuff, but not much. It's been a pretty, we've been sick like all week. Yeah. Um, and I, I, as I was thinking about it, I was kind of like making notes cause I was like, I gotta have something written down here. <laughs> uh, so Jake's just let, I, I'm not just gonna be like, oh, I didn't do anything. Um, I, at first I was going to write, it was a depressing week. And I think that word is too strong Okay. because I think everyone's like, I'm depressed. And I'm like, I don't think you're depressed. I think you're just sad right now. Yeah. So it was not a pre- depressing week, but it was, it was, it was like a definitely a trials, a, a week of trials for us because we were all like sick with this weird cold thing. And then all of a sudden I think Bo and Hattie and I all got like ear infections. Like, so, so Monday night we got done with the basketball game. I got home and I woke up at like, 2 a.m. with like this terrible ear infection, like could not fall asleep for like five hours was like just struggling. Um, and I don't think I've ever had anything like that before. Like, I mean, at least not in my adult life. I didn't know adults got ear infections anymore. I remember when you texted me and Trey, like, guys, I don't feel great. My ear is like throbbing. I was yeah. like thinking about that. I was like, that sounds awful. Yeah. I've never had those, ear pain. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, unless you have it, it doesn't sound that bad. But if it's like, think about like a really bad pain in your ear. It's just like, yeah, that's, that's terrible. Like and it just seems like you wouldn't be able to like not think about it. Exactly. It's uh, yeah, it was just, and, and so, yeah. And so along with that, then like Bo is, Bo is just like right on the cusp of not really being able to speak yet. Like he has like, you know, probably 50 words in his vocabulary. So he can't tell us how he's feeling. Like, so there was one day where he just kept saying ouch over and over again, Dang. but it's like, I think you have an ear, like, it's like all these different things. And, and he's just like every, everything you do, he cries and screams and, and it's like, yeah, it was just this really, really hard few days. And then I he kind of started getting over it. And, and so, but then he kept screaming. And so I'm like, okay, are you just a bad, like, are we training you bad? Are we doing bad things? So it was like, <clears throat> how much do I need to discipline you? Or how much are you still sick? And I don't know it. How much attention it. do you need? How, yeah, how much attention do you need me? Like, like, cause he's not like a cuddly guy. I mean, he's, he's okay with that, but like, he's not super loving like that. And he just like laid on us like multiple days in a row. Just uh. like. And so like, okay, something clearly wrong with you, but then he got over it, but he was still being bad. And so I'm like, like, there was a point where I was like, I, I don't like you right now. Like, (laughs) I was like, this is, this is so hard. And like, and obviously Catherine is eight months pregnant. And so she's, you know, obviously just having her own struggles. And then she has a sinus infection and, and like, normally when she like struggles, that's when I'm like, let's go. Like, I, I am so quick to like, try to serve her better and like pamper her and like, you know, get rest. But since I was feeling so sick, it was like, dang, I, I, I don't want to help you. (laughs) Yeah. Like, and so like, I was much more hesitant. Like, you know, I would eventually probably help her, but I was like, oh, let's just see if she can get over this one by herself. (laughs) Uh, It doesn't sound like it. Sounds like I need, yeah. You know, she likes to sit oils. Let's see. Yeah. 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 So it's just like, it's just been a struggle of like, 
And, and so Catherine and I are still kind of struggling through this. I, I, I went to the doctor the other day, ENT, and uh, they, they gave me some medicine. So I'm feeling better. But I was telling you, like my ear, like I can't really hear, like I have a ringing slash echoing in my ear. And uh, I can't really hear out of my ear, my left ear. It's like popping a lot. It's Gosh. Like the eustachian tube. You know the eustachian tubes. The E-tube. Um, yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's just a weird thing. And so it's at, at this point, it's more annoying than it is like yeah. a truly terrible <clears throat> for me. I think for Catherine still, she's got a lot of sinus pressure. And so, so anyway, um, but because of that, I've spent a lot of time at home, which has been sweet in some moments and just terrible in other moments. So like uh, the sweet moments, um, I've obviously just gotten to spend a lot of time with my kids and I, I think like probably subconsciously, maybe not even sub, maybe intentionally, I try to just teach my kids how fun balls are. Like I just, <laughs> I just want them, you know how you and I are. Like if we have a ball, that's all you need to yeah, like, have fun. Yeah, solitary confinement. And I just, yeah, I just, I just want my kids to enjoy playing catch as much as I do. And so like multiple times, like last night before bed, Bo and I sat on like, well, he stood on one side of the bed. I was like on my knees on the other side and we just like tossed the ball oh, like down the bed to each other back and forth for like 30 minutes. Wow. It was awesome. Like he had so much fun with it. Like he loves doing that stuff. And like Hattie and I today played this game where she would throw me the ball in our bedroom. I would catch it on my bed and then she would try to run out of the bedroom before I'd pelt her with it. <laughs> that sounds fun. <laughs> it was awesome for both of us. Like, cause she got to run around, she got to throw the ball in me and like, it was so fun for me cause it was like a quick, like, you know, almost like a double play kind of like catch and, you know, throw real quick. <laughs> Uh, so sometimes a few times I hit her pretty hard. That's fun. Uh, I was trying to get something like that going today. I was back home at Stratford uh -huh. and I had about 20 minutes kind of in between things. So I just went and hit golf balls in the front yard, like real golf balls. And my parents' dog started going and like fetching the golf balls. Like this could be amazing. Yeah. He I'd would take that dog home. With yeah. He would pick up the golf balls and then just take off with them. Oh. So it was, <laughs> it was almost really cool. Like, yeah, yeah, go, 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 go. Oh, and no, no. <laughs> he would just take them and just run away. So yeah. that was not as cool. Oh, man. But uh, yeah, I mean, there's, it, it's been fun. I mean, just getting time with them. Hattie and Bo, really, they're getting into basketball. Like, Hattie is like really enjoying watching KU basketball with me, <laughs> which is so fun, obviously, right now, March Madness and everything. Um, and she like loves like watching and seeing how many points everybody has. So she's like, Jayhawks have 61, you know, they have 59. So, so I try to like, you know, try to turn it into a math problem, but of course that's way too <laughs> tough, you know, but if it's like seven to four, I'm like, okay, how many more points do they have than, you know, them or no, but she, she gets really excited when they're tied. And I'm like, no, we don't want it to be tied. She, she loves like, that though. Yeah. She's like, it's a tie game. Cause she loves like anytime her and I play something, she either wants to win or tie. Really? Like, which I kind of respect. She like tries to manipulate the rules to like, no, we, you know, we tied. That's the rules now. I think it was a tie. The rules are that we tie. And I'm like, I won. <laughs> She's like, which I kind of like that. She's like that competitive. She never wants to lose. But um, you should ask her how to get a Jayhawk in her refrigerator next time. <laughs> next time you're watching. How do you, how do, you do that? Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, but anyway, she's, she's loving it. So like every single time I'm watching a game, she says, what are the team's names? And, you know, She'll she'll just be like I want I want this team to win because they're this color I want this team to win because I like that name and yesterday we watched three parts of three different games together and she rooted for the Aggies Texas A and M Aggies okay she rooted for the Jayhawks and she rooted for the Hokies the Virginia Tech Hokies. Okay. okay all three teams won whoa so I'm not saying that you she should fill out her own bracket I, yeah I think we definitely need her to fill out a bracket <laughs> and I think she could go far um, <laughs> but she's like really into the Jayhawks which is like sweet for me because. I grew up a huge Jayhawks fan. And of course, like Catherine's like, I can't believe my family's going to feel like I'm such a failure, you know? Because you, yeah, you brought yeah, up the KU. Because my Baylor. husband is, yeah, just infiltrated KU on her. Because because last night, KU played Texas Tech, which is where Catherine's dad went. And so we were sending videos back and forth. She was saying, the rock chalk Jayhawk. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> All this different stuff. So, um, but anyway, that's fun. So that, that I wrote down Hattie quote of the week. So I'm going to try to be consistent with this. Um, so last Saturday, KU played TCU, I think. And uh, she's like, Dad, can we watch sports again together tomorrow? And which is just music to my ears. Yeah. And I was like, it's Sunday. There's, I was like, there's not really, I don't think there's any games, like any good games. And she's like, well, it doesn't have to be a good game. I just want to watch sports with you. Wow. And I was like, okay, <laughs> we'll find a game. You know, <laughs> we'll find an NBA what game. Or something. I, there was NBA. Sunday's usually a pretty good NBA game. Oh, really? So I think we watched bucks and 
Suns. So it was, it was like a rematch of the finals. <laughs> That's funny. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you and Addie just watching the Bucks Suns game. Yeah, but she loves it. I mean, she knows like two points, one point, three point. Like she's like attentively watching NBA basketball. Sometimes. I mean, and then there's other times where she gets really excited about the commercials because then I'll play with her and like. Yeah. Toss her, toss her off the couch or something. Yeah, you know? that's fun. That's you fun. Know? So it's like a little bit of both. It's not like a, a, this ideal utopia of like my daughter loves this. <laughs> Look at the pick and rolls, Dad. You know, <laughs> she's not saying anything like that yet. Like I'm like, see that? Yeah, that's called a backdoor cut. Like, yeah, <laughs> it works every time. Um, but I'm pumped about March Madness, and that that's it's been a highlight of me, my week is watching watching sports with them. And I just I like I like the conference championships a lot too. Really? I don't know. Did you did you get to watch any? No. I really, I really like watching the conference championships because they're so, I don't know. I feel like the, the, the fans that go there are all like obviously big 12 fans that are going to the big 12 tournament games. And so then it's like, it's just more rivalry there. Whereas the March madness is just like kind of random melting pot of, yeah, fans, that's you know? a good point. So anyway, how was basketball that you played last week when all four yeah, of us were gone? Yeah, it was actually really fun. I'm not going to lie. I, I missed you guys, obviously. Um, but we had, yeah, so we had four subs. We, we ended up getting four subs, which is awesome. Um, it was Gunner, one of Gunner's coworkers. Um, which Joe, coworker? Uh, Michael? Cool. Matthew, Matthew. Okay. His last name was Murda. And I, I, made, I made puns off that. Yeah, sure. Like Murda, yeah. <laughs> There's been a Murda. Um, <laughs> Gunner, Matthew, I think. Uh, Joel, who is Garrett's brother-in-law. Ghosty, love, Dallas Brad, Dallas Brad, yeah. love Joel. Yeah, I I like him too. I I didn't get to hang out with him a whole lot, but he's fun. And then uh, Garrett's high school friend named Hank. Um, that's why you said something in the. Did you see my thing? I said, <laughs> yeah. I need my boy Hank. I've played basketball with Hank. Have you? He can, he can move his body around. He's he's yes. good down there. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I I didn't know Hank played with you guys. Yeah, that's hilarious. So so yeah, Garrett and Hank uh, were high school friends, and Hank like the first time he got the ball. Hank's not a dribbler. I'll say that. So he, he got the ball. And in my head, I was like, why did Garrett get this guy? I'm not, and I'm not, I'm not trying to be like a huge hater. Cause I'm, I'm clearly like the weak league of our team. Like I'm not like some stud of a basketball player, but I was like, this guy, I don't know. I don't know if he's going to make us much better, but besides dribbling, the dude can play. Like he made multiple threes. He took a charge at one point. Okay. Hank. He, he had like Hanky a couple Panky. different times where he like spun around and like, did like a spin move on a guy and like laid it in. And so played some pretty good ball. Okay. From what um, I remember, I mean, I played with him probably like in a pickup game yeah. four years ago, but he was not that tall, but was like the most dominating post guy. He like knew how to move his, yes. kind of like Luke Hoagland. It was a classic, like, uh, like you played high school basketball. And so you like, you were coached a little bit better than most people. Gotcha. Like, like he knew how to, yeah, manipulate his body better. Um, <laughs> and then Hank, I'm going to see what uh, he said in the text. <laughs> and then we had Gunner's, uh, Gunner's coworker. Who, who, who adopted the team as his own? Like he was like, <laughs> like he, it, it was, it was Sammy. It was Sammy all over again. Like Sammy played with us a few, like last year and uh cool guy, Sammy, just like, man, he screamed and like got so excited <laughs> about every call. This, that was, this was this guy to a T <laughs> to the, and this guy actually maybe was the reason we lost because <laughs> we called a timeout. He went to go get a drink. We thought we didn't know, like we saw that we had two guys on the bench but really there were three guys on the bench. Oh no. If you only put four guys in there for whatever reason, it's a technical. Oh, to have less. Yeah. It should be a technical should, for them. Exactly. It's like, <laughs> they it's should like, give we're you giving free you throws. an advantage. Um, but we got a technical for that. And so no way. Yeah. It's kind of a bogus thing. Huh? Uh, but overall we, we held our own against this team. I think that, I don't know if they were undefeated, but they were, they, they're, they're seated higher than us and we've only lost one game. So I think they might have been undefeated. So, uh, they were fine. Um, Rustin kind of held his own and just did a lot. He's very good. And then Garrett, uh, you know Garrett better than I do. I um, I was excited in the text, yeah, in the group text, what I saw. Yeah, pre ear <laughs> pre earache, I, I texted you know uh, some different things about how Garrett. It was hilarious. So so Garrett went to SBU Southern Baptist Southwest Baptist University with Jake, and I said something about like, yeah, we saw not so Southern Baptist Garrett tonight, or something <laughs> like that. And because we texted like how'd the game go or yeah. something. We and, lost by three, I think, right? Yeah. And Garrett texted, I'm still hot, which yeah. I didn't know what that meant. That could be taken a few different ways. Sure. Like and he's then, just he just worked really hard. So yeah, it's like he played good D. It was a warm night. And then 30 minutes later, yeah, Brad texted. We saw not so <laughs> Southern Baptist Garrett. It was awesome. So so like, and I will say, throughout the season, 
Garrett has gotten a little bit under some different players' skins, right? Other people seem upset at Garrett. Yes, but Garrett <laughs> usually keeps it pretty cool. So I wonder if Garrett's just a little bit of a, you know, coercer. <laughs> Instigator? Yeah. Um, but there was another guy, and I, I, we might need to get Garrett's take on this because I can't remember super well because so many things have gone on in my life since then. But there was another guy on the other team who, like, there was there were a few different times where, like, as they were walking down the court, like they were kind of flailing elbows a little bit or like kind uh, of, okay. kind of something like, like this guy would kind of try to set some screens or something on Garrett that like, we're doing pretty, some extracurricular, pretty weird. And like, okay, Garrett's, Garrett's doing something. I feel like sometimes <laughs> like, so, so Garrett, if you guys don't know, is like the classic, like he's a soccer player. He's super in shape. He's a physical therapist. Like he, he's just very in shape. So he's like, he never runs out of gas. So he'll play, he'll, he'll like all of a sudden probably pick you up you know, full court yeah, and be totally fine with it and be super like probably annoying to the other people. I think this is what I did to people in high school. They would get so upset at me. It's like, I'm not trying to be necessarily like mean. I just, I think it comes across as annoying and yeah, but you probably just wears you out. Like, geez, give me a break. Just just stop for a second. (laughs) Yeah. And and maybe that's what happened. I truly don't know. Um, but there was one time I think that this guy kind of like this, there was a big dude, like bigger than me more athletic, like more like in shape than me though, like running down the court and like came at Garrett and like shoved his elbow, like with, with the ball, like kind of oh, like, wow. shoved Garrett out of the way. And this was after there was already a little bit of tension Uh-oh. and called, they called the foul on the offense, I think. And then like, I think the next play or two, uh, he came down again and tried to do the same thing. And uh, yeah, or maybe no, no, no. Garrett had the ball was coming down and this guy tried to go foul Garrett. Okay. And Garrett out of like pretty much self-defense, like threw his hand up, like instinctively. Like if I threw a ball at you right now, you'd catch it. Yeah. If it's coming at your face. Like, I think he just instinctively like put his hand up and just like got the guy a little bit and they call the foul on Garrett. Nice. And Garrett was so mad at the refs. <laughs> Garrett was like, Garrett, Garrett could not let it go. Like after the game got over, Garrett was still talking like during the game. Garrett's wife is in the stands, you know, cause Garrett doesn't have kids yet. So his wife's always at the game. It's just <laughs> awesome. And Peyton's just like, Garrett, just calm down. And, like, <laughs> and I, and you know, like usually like Garrett is like, I thought uh, you were going to say Peyton was like, yellow the refs too. No, I'm no. Just like, well, <laughs> no, that's the funny thing. So, so, so Peyton was there, but then, uh, Garrett's sister, Joel's Bailey, wife, Bailey, Love was Bailey. also ghosty. I believe, uh, Bailey, the ghosty, uh, was, was also there. And after the game, she was really hot. So it was like, it was like, okay, it's a Gibson. The thing. Gibsons. Yeah. It's like, it's like they're competitive. She's like, I just don't like it when people mess with my brother like that. And I'm like, yeah, I get it. And Peyton's like the non-confrontational, like, ah, I don't know. I didn't oh, like this. Boy. Uh, just stay in my lane kind of thing. Uh, but Garrett, yeah, Garrett just could not handle it. And you know, he was kind of like looking up at Peyton, like Peyton, I got this. I got this. And, and then that was like his fourth foul. So I'm time to be over on the bench being like, Hey, hey Garrett, just FYI, just, you're doing great. But just like, that's your fourth foul. He's like, I know I, I can, I can handle it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it was awesome. Like I, I was so proud because usually that's me. Like in the, in the past seasons when we played Casey, that's Crew, true. I'm the one that gets really fired up. Like, the refs. Finally, it's not me. I'm like, finally I've graduated. Like I, <laughs> I, I, I have been able to like not be so competitive with this. But I'm also like proud of you for sticking up for yourself because it was this guy was like coming at him like really? and this guy was probably yeah six three six four a big like two seventy five like coming at oh, Garrett wow, that's and massive. Garrett's, Garrett's like yeah Garrett's not a tall guy both of them are very tall guys um, <laughs> probably I mean, five, five ten and a half five ten yeah uh, <laughs> so anyway I loved it though because we're playing that exact same team this with week. the exact same refs. Yeah. And, and so at the end of the game, like Garrett was talking and, and one of the refs, Malik, he's like, he's like, you know, write me a review. You can review me every week. And Garrett's like, I, I review you every week. <laughs> Which I don't know if he really does. But Garrett's like, I'm going to review you. He's like, cool. My name's Malik. Like, really? Yeah. So anyway, the, the whole thing was great, though. And, and I think we, we could have won. We played pretty well. Um, I think we can beat them this week, though. Um, anyway, anyway, it was it was great, though, watching Garrett because it was like. It was like, I knew Garrett and like, we, he is like the smiliest, like kindest oh, guy. Oh yeah, we're always laughing so much. Until you, until you cross that line. And then all of a sudden it's like, okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, like, college I'll, athlete. I'll, yeah, I'll get it. I'll get in there with you. I'll scrap it up. So. That's awesome. Anyway, um, it was fun. We missed you guys for sure. But the guys that we had were, were great subs. So are we getting hanky panky back or what? I don't know. I think he might be on the list. I, I said <laughs> sure. we should. Yeah. I liked him. Just don't, don't let him dribble. <laughs> Set some screens for him. I think I even said that to Garrett. I was like, I was like, yeah, the first time I saw him dribble, and Garrett's like, yeah, not a great dribbler. <laughs> uh, 
but man, he was knocking him down. So, That's awesome. Yeah. I, yeah. I haven't seen Hank in a while. That's funny. Right, yeah. I, uh, I'm excited. I don't know if I've told you this. I'm going on a little trip. Actually, I guess it's kind of soon, probably three weeks from now with uh, the Gibsons, uh, me and Rachel and then Garrett and Peyton Fun. are going on just like a three day trip together. So oh, I'll, I'll try not to make that. them mad. Where are y'all going? Uh, so everyone is meeting at, in Las Vegas because I have a show there on April 1st. And then from there, we have a rental car. Actually, the rental car just got canceled yesterday. So I guess I got to rebook another one. OK. Yeah. Um, True. It was. Yeah. They, oh, the guy just canceled true. on me. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I got to rebook. But uh, we're going to drive to Zion. Fun. I said that kind of weird. To Zion. We're going to drive probably Zion. <laughs> Maybe Arches. Rice? Oh. <laughs> Fun. Uh, yeah, that was my favorite national park in the limo trip. So I wanted cool. to go back. and Cool. Uh, so yeah, just that's where we're going. So I'll make sure, you know, Garrett doesn't get elbowed on the hikes or on the trails <laughs> or, you know, like everyone plays yeah, a good guy, clean game. Yeah, that guy's yeah getting in my spot. Dude, uh, I just thought it's like when you said uh, Baylor's like, I don't like what people mess with my brother. We were all like my whole family was together last night. Uh, grandma, grandpa, Uncle John, parents, sister. And we were all just kind of sharing stories. And they were telling me a story, you know, just multiple stories of my dad's high school football career, which are hilarious. And I'm yeah. sure my dad was a decent football player, but the only ones we hear are just the hilarious ones. So we learned that my dad used to be a punter briefly okay and so we're like how long did that last and he and he goes well i'll tell you the last punt i ever did it's when i caught my own punt <laughs> we're like, well that's probably not good and so he's telling us that story of the, the night he caught his own punt and me and john it was were a like, very windy night though. yeah dude, dude, dude the dead wind was nuts we were like what even happens like is that legal like what do you do yeah are you allowed to run i don't know what happens if you catch your own... fair catch right or something <laughs> it's some yeah. bad technical foul yeah. and uh he was also talking about a different night where he was a senior in high school playing college football and John and Angie, I mean, they were, they were married. They were living in Kansas city and they were six years older. You know, they, I think they had a kid at that. They had John David at that point. They okay. had fully adult lives. They would drive down to wherever my dad was playing every Friday uh, to come watch him play football. That's awesome. And Angie also didn't like what people mess with their brother. And I guess <laughs> uh, this one team, Eldorado Springs or something, mm -hmm. you know, Eldo. Oh yeah. Yeah. Actually. Yeah. Go ahead. Do you actually, <laughs> I've been following on uh, Facebook some some Ozark uh, different teams. Oh. Did you see that comment? I, I did see your comment. Uh, yeah, about like just some my dad reposted from the Stratford team. Yeah, and you're like no way around it. He's a heck of a ball player. <laughs> He's a good ball player. He can play. Yeah. Anyway, I think El Dorado Springs and some other team. And El Dorado Springs just like dominate him 65 24 in the regionals <laughs> or something. I, I almost I almost commented on her like tagged your dad. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> That's I'm not going to find it. It's not going to be on my Facebook feed again, but, um, anyway, I guess the just people were being mean to my dad or they weren't calling, you know, yeah. personal fouls or roughing the quarterback or whatever, roughing the punter. And so my sister went into the opposing team's locker room after the game and just laid into him and gave him a piece of her mind that they were being mean to her little brother. Oh my gosh. I, yeah, we were talking, we're like, I can't imagine like, Doing that in this day and age, because one, I mean, that definitely would have gone viral. You know, someone's sure. pulled their phone. I'm like, look at this guy's yeah. sister is coming yeah. in here. And then my dad was like, I think me catching my own punt would have gone viral too. <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> that's pretty great though. I, yeah, I think, I think back in the day though, that probably was going to be more accepted like by, those, by that other team. Like they would probably be like, oh crap, we got to We got to mm -hmm. listen to this woman. Like rather than being like, this woman's crazy. It's like, like good family values. Like, yeah. you know what? Maybe we were a little mean tonight. And they, they it might've also been like, oh, I know like Angie's friends with my brother. So I better chill about this. Like, <laughs> you know, it's small town enough. Where, they like, were saying too, they're like, I think Angie had the rep too, that like my dad actually didn't get made fun of about that because I think they also, maybe they just didn't want Angie to yell at them too. Yeah, really? <laughs> they just like respected her and they're like, don't, don't, That's don't awesome. make Angie mad. That's, yeah, it's like, it's like, no, you don't want to, you don't want to mess with this girl. <laughs> But yeah, I couldn't believe that. I she mean, wanted your to be opposing teams. hundred fist fights. Yeah, so I mean, that's where he gets it from. <laughs> right, ninety eight of them were against my sister or his sister. <laughs> oh, that's amazing. So I should introduce Bailey to Angie. They could probably they could hang out. Dude, I'm gonna give your dad crap real fast, and I tell me if I've already given him crap about this. I went. I meant to talk to him about this on our uh, Patreon episode mm -hmm. because uh, one time I was talking to him. It was like I, maybe it was one of the first times we met. Um, we were playing pickleball and. Uh, he, we were, we were talking about, so like I knew Angie, his sister, um, when I was growing up because your cousin was on my baseball team and all that stuff. So, um, Finn's story, all that stuff. And, uh, he goes, he goes, my sister is the hottest woman I've ever met in my <laughs> life. 
and I, and I, I think he used the word hot. I don't think he used the word prettiest. I think because because and she is like very in shape. Like doesn't she do fitness stuff? Or like, she does like a lot of spin class. Yeah. And, stuff. and so I wanted to I wanted to say something to him. Like so you're from Missouri, right? It's like Missouri has certain like stereotypes or whatever. Can you remind me, Steve? Like who you said the hottest girl? Do you, <laughs> you think know? he really said the word hot? I I I, I, could, I could see him saying the word beautiful. I think he said the word hot. Dude. <laughs> I think he said the word hot. I think that's. <laughs> I'm not joking, dude. <laughs> and and maybe maybe I'm misremembering it. Steve's probably listening right now like, oh, I did not say that. Trish, <laughs> Trish, I didn't say that. I didn't say that, Trish. I promise, Trish. <laughs> but I remember it was like, it was like, it was at least attractive. It wasn't just like pretty. It was like something deeper where I was like, I got to bring this up, Steve. But I didn't, maybe I wasn't bold enough to it's say like it to his face. My sister. She could have been a car girl. <laughs> I'll say that. I'll just say, yeah, you would have been tipping her a lot on Venmo. <laughs> anyway, oh, it's just so funny because it's just like classic, like Southern Missouri, you know, <laughs> hottest girl I know, my sister. Yeah. If you, if you say anything, <laughs> she'll be at your door in 20 minutes. If you disagree. Oh man. Anyway, she's, she's beautiful though, Steve. She is. She's a pretty girl. <laughs> pretty gal. Pretty gal. Oh, uh, I don't know where to go from here. Um, I have something. I would like your help, Brad. I need some knowledge. Great. There are two things in life that have their own designated designated areas, and I don't know what happens inside of them. Following? Okay. I'll okay. Accept, <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's the given right now in geometry. I don't understand what you're, where you're going Just yet, like but. There, are, there are locations on this earth, and I don't understand them. Okay. okay. One is the crying baby room at a church. Okay. Second is like the vegetables drawer in a refrigerator. You're asking me what goes on inside what, what of either. What are we doing in there? Yeah. Like more on the church side, like, is it really loud? Is it fun? Mm. Have you been in one before? And their fridge okay. side, it's like, is that a, how does, how, how is there different types of cold happening in one refrigerator where it's like, oh, veggies <laughs> down here. Yeah, yeah. Better put your drinks up in the door. How is that different? It is different, Jake. Okay, um, uh, tell me everything. So, so first of all, the crying thing. I've never been into a crying oh, baby. Always room. wanted to. Um, yeah, uh, maybe someday. Maybe, yeah, maybe in like you know late May. Another couple of your infections. Um, yeah, exactly. Hopefully not. Um, the the first church, like the church we were going to when we had our little like with Bo and Hattie when they were little, it was small enough where we didn't have anything that cool. Okay. This one, I don't know. If, like this church that we go to now is huge, but I don't know if they have like a specific if they're that, that modern okay. or if it's just like, Hey, let's watch this person walk down, you know, 50, you know, rows of, uh, chairs here and walk out of the sanctuary in this thing. Cause so, the baby's loud. Cause the baby's loud. But I would assume, um, by the time they're there, it's more of like a nursing thing. Maybe not though. Maybe. Like, and so maybe it's just like, Whoa, this is not Southern Baptist. This is <laughs> more Pentecostal over here. Um, <laughs> it's like, okay. Whoa. You know, different the, kind of show. The Venmo's out. That's right. And so, yeah, but I, I, I think that's like a newer thing. I, I know you, you talked about on correct opinions, the lactation, um, Oh yeah. Of, Fargo airport. Yeah. Yeah. Lactation station. Surely that's gotta be a law that they're adding those in these days. Probably. Like, it's like, you have to have something like available for this. Maybe like every that. airport needs to have one. And because Fargo is so small, it's like, Oh, there it is. <laughs> but other airports, it's like very hidden. It, it's, like, it's like the same size, no matter what size airport. You have. <laughs> it has to be 30 by 40. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it is massive. <laughs> it was huge. In really? Fargo. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know too much about the, um, the, okay. the crying baby. Let's thing. talk veggie drawers then. Veggie drawer, though, I think I think there's different. Uh, you you can you can slide the scale right on the of veggie how drawers. cold you want your. Oh oh, the drawer has a scale. Yeah, I don't think I have that. I bet you do. Okay, I'll save up. Check check okay, no, okay. check and see if you do because I think like most normal refrigerators I think do and like okay. and there's a difference between like fruit and veggies versus cheese and like uh you know sandwich meats and stuff like that. So I don't know exactly what okay. what's all what's all about, but I also know that obviously if you. Uh, put stuff in the refrigerator it lasts longer. So good. Um, <laughs> just FYI, <laughs> just FYI. Yeah. I saw a hack the other day. It was like, once you get the avocados to the exact right, you know, thing that you want, put them in the refrigerator and they'll last another two weeks. I'm Holy like, cow. That's life changing. <laughs> it really is. I'm like, I've been on Facebook a lot lately. Good so, job. Um, okay. The, um, like sub the secondary temperature adjustment. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I had that. So that makes more sense. I thought it was just one, Open cooler, but you're telling me once it's in a drawer, now it's better for vegetables. I think, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so. Um, because I think it keeps it a little bit of a different temperature where it doesn't dry it out or whatever. I don't know. All right. But maybe you don't have the sliding scale. Uh, maybe I'm assuming that like everyone's just ri rich like me, but <laughs> I don't think my refrigerator is that nice and it has it. And I think even like our old like refrigerator in our garage has it. So 
Gotcha. Yeah. Uh, should we talk about the girls' channel? Let people know what's happening. <laughs> sure. Just because basically this has been in the works for like close to a year now that like Trey and I are trying to grow what mm -hmm. we're doing almost as a business, almost franchising it in a way. Step one was Gene Schwartz comedy, mm -hmm. me and Brad, which has been fun. To, Brad and I, sorry, uh, more ownership. I'm starting to feel more like mental ownership, which I think is important for me to like. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Just like we're not just doing whatever, you know, we think Trey wants us to do. Like yeah. it, this is our YouTube channel. Yeah. It, it's been hitting me kind of crazy. Like we have a YouTube channel, you and I of 100,000 yeah. subscribers. Yeah. It doesn't feel that way, though. You know, no, like, it still feels like we're like Trey's, you know, secondaries. But like it's so interesting. Yeah. But hey, new profile picture, just our faces. Just us. It is very interesting. Someone yeah. was asking me recently, who was it? Oh, it was Harrison. We were just having a good conver intentional conversation. And he was mm -hmm. like, you have so much going on. Like when you wake up in the morning, like what is driving you? What are you thinking about? And I was like, just in the last week, it's dawned on me what Brad and I have in this YouTube channel. Like this is nuts. Yeah. Should we be taking more advantage? Are we doing a good job? I don't know. Right. Like how do we find the balance there? Yeah. It's just like, this is kind of crazy. Yeah. So very fun. Anyway, so that was step one. And then now, you know, Trey got us off the ground. Now he is weaning himself off. He's not really going to be in the videos anymore. Yeah, he's a big wiener. Step two is uh, just more and more YouTube channels. So the plan from the beginning was like start a channel with me and Brad. And from there, I have a female led channel where it's still kind of similar videos, you know, relatable short form comedy sketches, but with females at the center, because there's not really that doesn't exist a ton out there. If it does exist, it's not great. Or it's probably inappropriate. Or yeah. It's either, it's either not that funny or not that appropriate. Correct. So. And, um, so without them knowing it, our friends, Lindsay and Morgan have kind of been auditioning for the roles of this for, <laughs> yeah. I mean, a year now. And, uh, they've done a great job on camera. They've done a great job coming up with stuff on the fly. They're good at improvising. And, uh, anytime they're in videos, people love them. We, mm -hmm. there was a top comment of like the Starbucks husband's video that I think it was like, these girls need their own channels. Like just you wait, <laughs> you know, Donna. Yeah. And, uh, so it's very exciting, especially just because I'm good friends with them. Like I'm so excited to like give you this platform and like I hope it goes well and it'll be fun because I think it'll be different than being females. Like we've talked to them like when we did the first dates video with uh, Emily and Lindsay, there were so many comments. It was like, where did Lindsay get her outfit from? Yeah. And yeah. so I think like no one's ever asked us that. No, zero percent. Zero. Not one comment. Not once. And so I think that's like a little side thing. Like I think every, how fun it would be every single comedy sketch, they're in a cool outfit where it's mm -hmm. like, Hey, if you like what we're wearing for some reason, there's a affiliate link below. Like 100%. girls would love that. Girls yeah. would eat that up. So I yeah. think it'd be really fun and exciting. And I came up with a name for it like probably a year ago as a joke. And I still to this day don't even really like the name. Oh, you don't? I don't. I I is, like what is jean it shorts is. Appropriate, like or like too. I think ahead, I just like jean shorts. I liked right. it. It was quick and it was fun and it was like it had nothing to do with comedy videos. Yeah, it just I don't know. It was yeah. fun. Um, and anyway, just it was fun. It was good wordplay. I came up with the name "Girls Gone Mild" because they were going to be like clean, you know, mm -hmm. girl comedians. And it was like, that's kind of a funny placeholder for now. We'll find something. And yeah. then Trey came back around. He's like, dude, I'm really liking that name. Yeah. I was like, we could think of something else. He's like, no, I think I really, <laughs> I was like, all right. So I guess that's what it's going to be called. And I think we have a meeting with the girls here in like eight days or so next Monday. I think mm -hmm. we're meeting with them and going to shoot some photos and yada, yada. And yeah, it's gonna be fun. So yeah. you guys be looking out for it. We'll obviously let you guys know, but help get them started and off the ground and be supportive if you want to, yeah. if you like it. Don't support if it's not good. Yeah, no. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, just go ahead and support it. If it's okay, at least the first three. Yeah. <laughs> and then, but, but don't keep, keep supporting it. Yeah, like, yeah, you got like to do. Show us your true p opinions on things. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that yeah. is the girls' channel. Love it. And then channel, next channel up, TDB. We talked about that one uh, where we would find like an old man. <laughs> yeah, we would love that idea. 55 year old man influencer. I think that'd be so funny. It's possible. Yeah. Just like a random dude who just is funny and old and just, yeah, would be great on the camera. And I think it'd be great to have like almost two guys that are that age. One that's like a dad that's like just became an empty nester maybe. And one mm -hmm. that like is just became a grandpa, mm -hmm. you know, but still a young grandpa. I don't know. You would just get so much more material. Right. Of knowing, you know, empty nesters be like, I mean, we don't, we can't make shoot that video. Right. Right. It just opens your world up to so many different things. So yeah. I think yeah. Like fun. that. We've talked about doing sports. We've talked about doing a Christian channel. Um, you were talking about doing one uh, in Espanol. Yes, see. Yeah, come it, come it. Con, con Domi. <laughs> Domi Eo is what it's called. <laughs> yeah, um, that's going to be good. We'll be looking out for that one, guys. See, 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 see. Um, yeah, that'll be fun. See, see. Uh, so that's the girls' channel. Yeah. Um, so I mentioned that I went to the ENT the other day. Yes. Um, 
ear, nose and throat doctor. Good. And, uh, while I was there, I was like mentioning like, yeah, but I still just can't hear. It feels like really clogged. And they're like, ah, it just doesn't seem like it's adding up. Maybe you just like have some hearing loss. And I'm like, <laughs> and, and I know that like, I don't know if I've talked about it on the podcast, but I have like something called distortion in my ear in my right ear. Cause like, I think one time with the amplifier, like it just like messed up my ear. Dang. And so like, if things are too loud or like in the right, whatever, the right way, sometimes it feels like there's fuzzy in my ear. So I mentioned that, but this was like my left ear. So they're like, well, I think you should go and get a hearing test. I was like, I don't really want to do that. It sounds like I have to set up another appointment. She was like, no, no, you just go across the hall. Like there's an audiologist here. I was like, okay, sure. Why not? Uh, And so this hearing test was just, it was fine. Like they put you in this like booth, like this corner little booth. It's like, you know, soundproof. And then they give you like these, uh, like very, like they look like this, like just like straight on earphones, but just go straight into your ears. Huh. Not very comfortable. I would know. And, and then they, they like, they just talk to you in this microphone in the other room. And like, I, I did hearing tests all the time growing up. Like, I don't know if you guys did them at school. Like once a year we had like hearing tests. Yeah. It was like left, right. Where do you hear it? Yeah. And like you just hit, raise your hand every time you hear a beep. Yeah. And I was like, I, I nailed that. We didn't get the fluoride stuff, but we got the hearing <laughs> test. Um, and, but, but this one was like, okay, I'm just going to say a word and you just say it back to me. Oh. And dude, I, it was just the, it, it was, was like, uh, rural. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, ah, yeah. Or just like very racist things. Yeah. Like, ah, am I supposed to say that? <laughs> um, like, is this a quote? Is this like a, a song lyric or do you yeah. just want me to like say it? Like, but, but like the weirdest thing, cause like, I think part of, probably part of it is like, there's different you know, like vowel sounds, maybe I can hear some better than the other. And so it's probably very intentional words, but just felt like the most random words they could think of huh. to the point where I was like, is this a, is, is she making these up? Are you just coming up with that playground? So like, 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 so let's nostril. So real fast. So, okay. so you're, I, I'm, I'm the uh, audiologist here. You are, uh, I got things person. in my ears. Yeah. And, and, you know, and it's different, different decibel. Sometimes it's really quiet and, you know, left or right ear or whatever. Okay. Say the word rope. Rope. Say the word faucet. Faucet. Say the word armchair. <laughs> Excuse me. Armchair. Yeah, sometimes it was like armchair. Like, <laughs> say the word handbag. Handbag. Say the word woodwork. Woodwork. Say the word binder. Binder. Say the word lamp. Lamp. Say the word attainable. Attainable. And then it was like a lot of silence. I was like, am I missing one or am I just like. Shoot, I can't hear. You're just trying to guess. Yeah. Seattle. Uh, <laughs> Did I get it? Right. Did Sean I get- Kemp. <laughs> Say, was, was I close? Say the word piston. <laughs> piston. Sorry. Say the word cable. Cable. And then, and, and then like, it's like getting weirder. It's like, okay. Uh, say the word Fu Manchu. Fu Manchu. Say the word armpit. Armpit. Say the word fuselage. Fuselage. Say the word bunion. Bunion. Say the word heifer. <clears throat> heifer. Say the word CBD. <laughs> CBD. Say the word Wendy's biggie bag. Wendy's Biggie Bag. Say the word Yelnats. Yelnats. Say the word Stanley. Stanley. Say the word Sploosh. Sploosh. Say the word Sweet Feet. Sweet okay, feet. you're done. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and it was like, that was it. <laughs> and it was, it was just like the weirdest. It was, it, was, it was like, it was like, this is it. Like, just give me the beeps next time. Yeah. Like, I think I could do the beeps. I don't know if I need specific words over and over again. I'm yeah, sure, and like I said, I'm sure, I'm sure there's different like intentionalities between each word of like, <laughs> you know, like the hard A versus the, <laughs> the soft. <laughs> That's funny. Anyway, it was just a weird, weird experience. And I'm already like feeling rough and whatever. I'm just like, just let me, luckily my hearing is okay. Like I, I passed. Dude, this could be a so, sketch. This is so funny. Yeah. Just like they walk you through a couple samples. samples. Say the word table. <laughs> say the word, you know, fork. Now say the word bush. <laughs> bush. Now say the word did. Did. Now say nine. <laughs> nine. Now say 11. 11. Wait, 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 now, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. How did that feel? What do you mean did? What do you mean did? How did that feel? <laughs> did that feel? Well, my wife's from Texas, so I don't <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Did that feel correct? Right. Did you feel alarmed at any point? Yeah. I'm just kidding. You just say these like kind of sketchy things. <laughs> like, yeah. Or like, yeah. You say like multiple words where you see it's probably going to come. And then you're like, please don't make me say that next word. And then the last second, yeah. it's like something else. It's back like, to Seattle. Or like, you're like kind of whispering like 11, 11. <laughs> and like, it's like, like, oh, he must not be hearing it. Like screaming at him <laughs> or something. But anyway, it was, it was, it was like a, it was a funny experience where I'm just like, what's going on here? That's awesome. Um, that's fun. I'm glad you got that experience. Thank you. Man. Hope your ear gets better. Thanks. It's it's got it. I, I texted Esther, my resident yeah. audiologist, 
I was like, Esther, please just wa- hey. like talk me off this ledge. Hey, it's wonky. Yeah. Am I, am I, am I losing it forever? Uh-huh. She's like, no, your hearing will come back. It's just going to take a while. So, good. Yeah. So okay. it, it was encouraging. That's good. So. Uh, this isn't much of a story. I just need to say this. Just, we love quinky dinks on this pod. Always have been pro quinky dink talk show. Mm-hmm. And, um, I talked about the golf convention that I went to like two weeks ago. As soon as I walked in the door, some kid just was like, Oh, what up, Jake? Can we get a pick. Mm-hmm. It just wanders off. Yeah. Like that was nuts. As soon as we got, when we got done recording the podcast last week, I went straight for, or before I went to Chick-fil-A, I went to uh, the driving range with Isaac. We stopped at quick trip. I checked my DMs later that night. That same kid who saw me at the golf show was like, no. dude, I just saw you at quick trip. Oh. I was like, He's like, yeah, were you at the Olathe Quick Trip about 4.30? I was like, yes. Didn't even say anything. It did, played it so this cool. This kid knows how to power trip. Dude. He's Gen Z and he gets it. That What a quinky dude. It was awesome. Yeah, I couldn't believe the odds of that. No way. The odds are not great. Yeah, saw me twice within the same week. You don't think. I mean, is, is this a Top Golf Rachel thing again? Where it's like, <laughs> I just happened to be at Quick Trip. I'm like, man, I kind of want to DM Noah back now. I don't know. I'm thinking it's about like, him. Man, maybe uh, I don't know. Maybe like Rachel's already decided my fruit for me, but maybe he'll decide my vegetables. I mean, maybe get him from the bottom part of the fridge. <laughs> yeah, really sliding scale. Kind of thing. <laughs> get my vegetables. <laughs> no, what kind of vegetables do you like? No, what kind of veggies? Noah turned me on to these things. Best thing I've ever had in the world. <laughs> Bell peppers. Broke a lie. <laughs> yeah. I believe I'm I saying it right. I tell you what, those things are sweet. <laughs> More vitamin C than oranges. Put enough salt on them. They taste pretty yeah. good. Anyway. Um, sh- should we do some voice memos and wrap it up that way? Yes. I, I have a few different things written down real oh, okay, quick. Okay, great. Um, just because I really tried hard to think about things here. Okay. So. Well, we got to record 24 hours. I just want to say that right now. We're going to talk about it later. No, no, no. You can still say Let's, let's talk about this one. Yeah, Tom yeah. Brady's on retiring. I think that's kind we of We got to talk about it today. Yeah, we because, because that's coming out like, it's coming out like in, in five minutes. We can finally be a topical podcast. Yes. We can talk about something that's happening. Right. Tom Brady's coming out of retirement. I saw it on my drive home tonight. Were you surprised? Not really. I and wasn't I was really with you, either. I, even though I didn't text back. I'm sorry, uh, okay. in the group, but I'm kind of with you. I, I was like, you just led the league in passing. Right. I mean, there's something to be said about going out on top. But he didn't go out on top. He didn't win the Super Bowl. He didn't win the Super Bowl, so therefore, I don't consider that on top. And I think that's going to bother him if he doesn't go out winning. And the NFC is just so, like, uh, what's the word? Bad. Yeah. Look at Aaron Rodgers' it's Aaron Rodgers. It's Aaron Rodgers. No wonder else. he came back for $200 million. Yeah. He plays against the Lions. It's like Aaron Rodgers like, maybe I'll go with the Packers, maybe I'll go with the Broncos. Yeah, I'm going to go with the Packers. Yeah. Again. Like, the whole NFC is just, yeah, bad. Yeah, he gets played against the Lions and Bears four times a year. Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, I'll take it. Um, so yeah, Brady's back. It's kind of exciting and gives, so like Mahomes and Brady only met once in the Super Bowl ever exactly. and Mahomes lost. Right. So he was never going to get that chance again. Right. I hope he Me gets too. a chance to beat Brady for his legacy. Yes. Because, because of course, like if Brady gets the Super Bowl again, that's amazing. Like yeah. that's like the story is going to be all about that. And it's like, watch this, Tom. Yeah. I'm going to beat you five times in a row. And now he's going to have to keep on retiring. The crazy thing is that I, I genuinely can't see, I, I, I know that it's obviously going to happen way sooner than we think. But I just have a hard a hard time imagining that Tom Brady or LeBron James will ever be physically incapable of playing anymore. <laughs> right? Yeah. Like like it just seems like they're gonna last forever. Yeah. Even though even though you know that's they're they're gonna their bodies are gonna wear down eventually. But Tom Brady's just so old for an athlete and just continuing to be just fine. It's gonna take like a serious injury. Yeah, maybe for them to so. actually be done. Probably yeah. that's what I've thought of before. But yeah, because they just seem so like genetic freaks and they take such good exactly. care of themselves. I'll tell you what's been annoying on Twitter. And I'm not even like a Tom Brady fan, but I'm just defending him anyway because people are like, yeah, he would announce this when the bracket gets announced. He's trying to overshadow March Madness. Oh, you don't think that's true? I think it's such a dumb take. Oh, I think it's totally right. No, it's because free agents, uh, free agency starts tomorrow. He needs to okay. let his teammates know. Oh, I didn't realize that. Yeah, like by tonight, like okay. all these, like Chris Godwin, is he going to hit free agency or is he going to resign? Gotcha. He, you know, they need, they need to know that. I, I still, I still might, I still might believe in the, in the whole like timing thing though. Cause what happened? Cause last... why, why didn't he do it three days ago? You know, like, I don't know. Cause, cause like, yeah, it's like a pretty slow, somewhat slow, like couple next couple of days in sports. So it's like, what else are we going to talk about? Tom Brady, <laughs> you know, I just saw people cause he did when he announced his retirement the first time, something else was going on or I think it was just the NFL playoffs. Yeah, and you're like, wow, Tom just can't handle not being in the news. Yeah. It's like, I mean, he's been in Italy for two weeks. It probably wasn't <laughs> totally on his mind. Yeah. It was like right before the Super Bowl, I think. Maybe I, I just I buy into that a lot, like because often like teams will will like release things on like Friday afternoon at five. Oh, really? Because then like yeah, the sports talk radios aren't going to talk about it anymore. Like, uh, like the Kareem Hunt thing, whenever that came out for the Chiefs, that came out like Friday afternoon. Oh, so it's like it, so it the is bad news thing. comes out. Yeah, it is a thing that like people definitely try to time it at certain points. Like a lot of people will say that about like, oh yeah, of course they're going to release this right before the Super Bowl. Like 
and have them all talk about themselves. Like, gotcha. But I, I don't know. Maybe it's not as extreme, but like the fact that the media thinks that, I think probably some players are being like confirming that, like, yeah, that happens yeah. sometimes. But I don't know. Either, Either way, way, I'm excited. It's exciting. It's just like, yeah, of course. I, like Tom Brady's one of the best. I want to keep watching the best. Yeah. Like I, would, I was like when he retired, I was like, no, don't do that. Yeah, you're I'm so good. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> And Don't watching that man in the arena is so good. And it yeah. makes you like Tom Brady. He's like, you make some more human than yeah, he was before. Guy. But uh, anyway, yeah. So I, I'm okay with it. Even though I don't like Tom Brady as a player, really. When he <laughs> plays my team because he's too good. It's, it's still amazing to watch him. So yeah. All right. The clock just struck midnight. Say midnight. <laughs> Say the word midnight. <laughs> just kidding. Say M. Night Shyamalan. M. Night Shyamalan. Okay. We got a voice memo from this girl's name is K. Trin. Sorry, I'm thinking of the office where he's like M. Night Shulman. M. Night Shulman. <laughs> anyway, go ahead. Uh, this is a wild name. K. Trim. K. Trim. It's midnight. Hey, Jake and Brad. This is K. Trim from Rhode Island. I'm a longtime ghosty and first time memo leaver. Just wanted to give a quick shout out of appreciation for when you randomly quote School of Rock in the middle of conversations. You guys have done it a few times over the years, and it makes me so happy when I get to unexpectedly hear about Yo-Yo Ma's cousin, Lil <laughs> Meppa Tits. <laughs> On a recent episode, you mentioned not knowing the actor who plays Ned Schneebly, and it's actually Mike White, and he wrote School of Rock. So there's your fun fact All for right. today. And now on a completely unrelated topic, I'm getting married in September, and we're trying to plan our honeymoon, and I could use your help deciding on where to go. So if you had to pick between the options of Costa Rica, Portugal, Croatia, or Greece, which would you go with? Costa Rica. Thanks, guys. No. I'll see you cats on the flip-flop later. Nice. That was school rock. Nice. Katrin, definitely Costa Rica. That's a no-brainer. Really? Yeah. Why? Costa Rica. Do you know about those other places? Not a ton. (laughs) I mean, I haven't been to any of them. But from what I know, Costa Rica has a lot of variety. I mean, that's kind of a... like Hawaii of the Central Americas. Okay. No one else is saying that. That's me saying that. So <laughs> sorry, I don't know how true that is. But I know that they have jungles. <laughs> yeah, they don't have snakes or rabies. Zika, West Nile. <laughs> COVID, 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 COVID. Um, I saw so they have jungles and mountains and like a little desert and the ocean. Like they have a good variety of things you can do. And if I was going somewhere, I would love to go where you can do a bunch of different types of things. Adventurous things. Whereas Croatia, what are we going to do? Eat soup? Yeah, what does Croatia do? They got they got mild food at best. <laughs> no, I I have been to Portugal and it is amazing. It's beautiful. Portugal is probably um, a close second for me. I I don't know anything about like Greece myself. My friend Scott uh, Caldwell and his wife went to Greece recently, and it looked like a dream. It looked awesome. <laughs> it looked really cool. Uh, so. I, I don't know enough about any of those places, except I've been to Portugal. I've been to Lisboa. That's how they say it. It's Lisbon to the Americans. Uh, Lisboa, Cascais. Scott actually lived in Portugal for two years, so he could give you. Oh, Portugal. He lived in Porto. 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 And uh, Obrigado. That's all I know. Portuguese. But uh, it was it was truly a beautiful, amazing place. I, I don't know. I think it'd be fun to. I, if it's honeymoon. Yeah, maybe. Maybe go Greece. I feel like Greece is a place you get a lot of good pictures in Greece. Costa Rica, you have a lot of fun in Costa Rica. And I'm saying like uh, Costa Rica seems a little bit more attainable for the every year. Not not every year, but like I feel like on a random year, you could probably make it happen to go to Costa Rica. It's a lot cheaper to go there than it is to it Greece. It seems like that would be true. That's a good I point. don't know for sure. And and obviously you probably want to go to a cool spot in like a nice hotel or something. But yeah, if money is not a big factor, yeah. Or time, because I think sometimes like you don't get as much like, like if you're going to go to Europe and you have, you know, 10 days or whatever, that's, that's awesome. Like, whereas Costa Rica, if you can do it, like if you only have five days, you can do that. Yeah. Choose Costa Rica. Yeah. So I think there's, there's a little bit of that to balance out too, but I really like Portugal. I don't know anything about any, any of the other ones. I think of Costa Rica, I think of a rainforest and like hot and muggy and Portugal is just like perfect. They probably got some state birds down there. If I had to guess. Yeah. In Costa Rica. Catron. 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 Holy matron money. Good. Yep. Shulman. Rhode right. Island. Shout out to Rhode Island. Yeah, I'm going there in like a week and a half. Are you really? Providence. Okay. For a show. I'm excited to see Rhode Island. Hopefully KU beats Providence. <laughs> Maybe if they play each other. No. Go Friars. Go Friars. Next one. Hey, Jake and Brad. Hey. This is Aubrey from Manhattan, Kansas. Whoa, baby. And okay. my husband and I are expecting our first baby due oh, in baby. June. We're having a little boy and we're super, super excited. Boy, baby. So my question for Brad is, oh. what is your best advice for a couple who is about to have their first child? And Urination any wigwam. tips you have for <laughs> um, just surviving the newborn stage and all that? 
Um, and then I have a question for both of you. Yes. So I live in Manhattan. Oh, baby. And Brad, you might know the gas station selection in Manhattan is not great. There um, is fast lane. Oh. I'm from Wichita and I always loved Quick Trip. I feel like it's just the go to um, and no gas station compares to it. Um, but I had a conversation with some friends recently where we were talking about if Quick Trip is a valid dinner option. And to me, it always has been because they have hot dogs, taquitos, all that. So I'm curious, what do you guys think of Quick Trip? Is it a valid meal option? Valid. Um, mm. Thanks so much. Love the podcast. Um, bye. These fun, are fun these questions. are questions for Brad. Yeah, I'm gonna let Brad oh, go really? on this okay. one. Yeah, yeah. All right. First, first and foremost, with the baby thing, um, is I mean, I'm sure this is all gonna be cliche, but uh, just don't remember, go to bed angry. No, sure, but um, <laughs> like the 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 newborn phase is a phase. Okay, it's it's gonna be like you're gonna realize that sleep deprivation is a thing, and you're gonna have a hard time with that sometimes. But just just be patient and just realize that it's not going to be like that forever and it gets better. Just don't be um, that tired. Yeah, just just wake up and just be fine. Like, <laughs> uh, one thing that Catherine and I really try hard is uh, not like anything that we say in the middle of the night, we can't like take to the next day. So like, oh, that's because funny. because so often like you get like if you're sleep deprived and you have a baby that just won't do what you want to do, it's very frustrating. Obviously, it's like, please stop crying. It's like, how, how do you? And then, of course, somebody's trying to say something to you. You're trying to talk over this crying baby. You can't hear very well. You get short with them. Like, what'd you say? Like, even, even, if, <laughs> even if you're just, even if you're not even trying to be mean about it, like you're just trying to literally talk loud enough to hear them. You shut your mouth hey, when you're talking hey, to me. what did you say? Yeah, I can't hear you. Like, that, that's the hardest thing to say without like being feisty. Uh, like, what did you, genuinely, I did not hear you. What did you say? No, 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 I can't, I can't. Like, even if you like try to put like a term of endearment in there, it just sounds like a sarcastic, like, Sweetie, I can't hear you. Sweet, I can't hear you, honey. I can't hear you, honey. Like, stop, you know, like whatever. And so just like whatever happens in the middle of the night, just realize that that is not it's... the true feelings. It And just you can't you can't bring that to the next day. So just like I'm going to try that out that. now without having a kid. Perfect. Hey, whatever I say from noon to two, <laughs> let's not carry that in. Noon to two. And then just I, just, that, I have two yeah. hours where I can just say anything. Right. Just Sorry. Yeah. That's just Brad said. That's my carte blanche. <laughs> like right there. It's um, the purge. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, I, I think that's the main thing for a newborn phase. And just just I don't know. I mean, the first like <laughs> couple of weeks is not that bad. Well, uh, sometimes it is like the first couple of days. They sleep so much as a newborn and they can sleep so easily. I don't know if I should say all this so generically, but like it, it's amazing how like I could have my newborn baby right here with us. and I could scream the jingle and the baby would sleep. Sometimes. Which is, yeah. Whereas like, obviously when they're a year old, they can't do that anymore. Um, but beyond that, I don't know if I have like super deep um, perspective or advice, but beyond just like, just realize it gets better when it's hard and just realize that it's, it's precious. Like you're not going to have that time again. So I always heard, I, I read somebody, there's a sports writer in Kansas city, Sam Mellinger, who talked about like how much he, uh, what's the word cherished, like changing his baby's diapers because it's like such a, maybe I've talked about this already, but such like an intimate time with just you and your baby, where it's just like the baby is just there looking at you and you just get like this opportunity to like, like see them and like talk to them. And like, he just had like that perspective rather than like, I have to change this nasty diaper. So, um, and that is kind of a special time. Like when you yeah. think about it, like your parents have seen your butthole more than you have. Oh, a million more times. Yeah. I awesome. don't know if I've ever seen my own. Yeah. Uh, you set up some mirrors. <laughs> yeah, we have a three-way mirror. Yeah, yeah. Catherine's out of town. <laughs> anyway, okay, so then, so then she lives in Manhattan. So it's really interesting. Manhattan, so they have like 17 or 15 of these locations called Dara's Fast Lanes. Dara's? Dara's. And the rumor has it that the owners of Dara's and the owner of Quick Trip like have like this pact of like, we will not infringe on each other's territory. Oh. And so that's why there's no QTs in Manhattan. Huh. And yeah, it does stink. Like this, is, it's just a gas station. There's nothing special. There's no like hot grill. Uh, QT. It just really depends on what you're constituting as a meal. Is valid. Uh, I, I don't. I don't think. I don't think that QT is a meal. Eh, I take it back. <laughs> they have pizzas. This is why I knew Brad didn't need me for this. You just argue against yeah. himself. So, so I don't think that the roller grill, like anything on the roller grill, that's not a meal. That's QT a, kitchen. That's a snack. But then they got the QT kitchens at most of them nowadays where they, you could literally order a full pizza. Yeah. XL. That's a meal. Yeah. That's a, that's an absolute mm, meal. meal, but, but a pretzel plus a taquito plus a hot dog. That's just a big snack for big daddy. Like, <laughs> I mean, I could, I could call it my meal. I could say like, yeah, I'm full, 
but that's not that's not getting you there like you can do that and then not be hungry the rest of the three-hour road trip but as soon as you get to your destination it's like i need to eat dinner now like, like that wasn't say, dinner like they say did you guys eat already and you say yeah. i mean yeah we had this this and that. Eh, but no but they didn't say no yeah we definitely ate dinner like, it was like, valid no. it was yeah. valid ate dinner it was like yeah i ate enough calories to have dinner but yeah i drank a lot of right soda ones. that right. held me over right enough prime <laughs> uh but yeah no I, I think that's that's my opinion on it you do you agree with all that i agree with all that okay. yeah qt kitchen qt the, has great food but wawa on the other hand like i would consider what you can get there that's a valid meal you can yeah you can definitely say i, I ate wawa i ate a hoagie yeah i got a hoagie there i, I talk about on the podcast when rachel had me get everything bagel seasoning and it was so confusing because <laughs> it just said everything seasoning i, I think was like, so why would i want everything right on yeah. turns out it's pretty good it's very good pretty good we have it at our house just like in a in a bottle that is awesome from trader joe's <laughs> get some for you next time you're there cool thanks that's a fun question aubrey good luck with the baby we will be going through the newborn stage together so it'll be fun cool you guys can hang out um we'll do voice more voice memos tomorrow night for me and brad and next week for you guys great um Brad, would you like to end this episode with reviews of the week? <laughs> <laughs> I was about to do it too. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you have one? Yes. Where this one f- is from... Is my phone? No cell phone for you, huh? No, no, no. No, no, no. Out of the pocket. The username is that one ghosty. Okay. The title says, amazing. My older sister first told me about your podcast a while ago, and ever since then, I've loved it so much. Really? Yeah, that's what she says. Literally everything about the pod is perfect, and I recommend it to everyone. Not only is the humor amazing... But it's also been a really fun bonding experience for my sister and I to get to spend more time with each other. Thank you, Jake and Brad, for being you. And thanks for always brightening up my Monday mornings. You are welcome. That one, ghosty. That one, ghosty. All right. Chewy Biscuits, exclamation point, oh, one, said, my only regret, five stars. When I get asked about what my biggest regret in life is, I usually don't have an answer other than not asking for more sauce at Chick-fil-A. Well, now I have a better answer. Not listening to Ghost Runners podcast sooner. Mm. I'm late to the party. Only started listening at around episode 93 or so, but man, this podcast is something special. I've been a fan of Trey for a while, and I'm a Trey Sedia in Recti. Okay, I, I don't like Recti. Why don't we say co-op? Oh, he had, nice. He was like trying to figure it out one time. He's like, the co-op, correct opinion. I think that's so good. Like if you said like, I'm a part of the co-op. Anyway, I don't, I don't like Recti. Recti just sounds like rectum. I know. It, look, it was there. I, it was grandfathered in for me. Okay. Yeah. Just talk, talk about it. Okay. Um, Trace D and Recti, but now I can add ghosty to my podcast listener nickname resume. Uh, when the DLGB, she said Trey who, but we're, we're, we're no longer a Trey who <laughs> podcast. Okay. We're no longer doing that. Okay. We're not doing that. We're, okay, we're, COVID, 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 we're COVID, banishing COVID, 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 COVID. Uh, when the DLGB podcast broke up, I didn't know what to do. It's so funny. Like you could tell who's like where in the podcast when they say Trey who, because it's like, we haven't banished that. <laughs> we yet. haven't been like, Hey guys, he's actually paying us money now. So we can't say that. Uh, when the DLGB podcast broke up, I didn't know what to do. I had grown accustomed to hearing Jake's melodious voice in my earbuds. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> melodious is such a thing that we say for Jake. She must have some distortion in her ear. <laughs> I remember that he would often talk about another podcast he did with a friend of his, but I doubted it would be as good. Sorry. It says, it's dang, okay. I understand. All I can say now is thank goodness for that fateful day when I had no other podcast to turn to and decided to give ghost runners a chance. I just want that paragraph as like, that's our- what we've always aimed to be as a podcast. <laughs> it's not the most popular. It's not yeah. the funniest, but it's a podcast when you have nothing else to listen to. <laughs> I mean, if I am desperate, yeah, sure. I'll try it out. If I, I don't have internet, I can't watch a YouTube video. I don't have service yeah. to call someone. But for some reason, this one episode was downloaded. I guess I'll listen I to guess. it. It's better than silence. Maybe it's it's slightly better than silence. That's the Ghost Hunters podcast. <laughs> awesome. Thank we you. did it. Thank you, Chewy. Chewy biscuits, little chiskets. All right, I'm ready to go. I, I don't think I've talked to a friend all week except for my wife. So this has been great for me. I'm very glad <laughs> to be here. I talked to a friend all week. <laughs> it's been a tough week, man. I so know. this has been good. I'm glad. So Thanks for doing this such, so late at night. Yeah, of course. Uh, Let's rock it. In this episode of Jingle? Yes. Let's do it. Hey. Finish. Finish. This, you're supposed to say Catherine's showing up. She wears the coats effortlessly and fill Jake's homes with stuff you see. I didn't. I didn't. I, hey, I was too excited. You did great. I felt safe. I felt sound. I felt Ghost Runners proud. Good. And um, thank you. Uh, wait, who did you say wrote that? Emily Schmidt. Oh, of course, of course. Emily Schmidt yeah. uh, always crushes it. Always. Thank you for writing us that. Um, it's been a fun episode. We cranked it out. It is after midnight now. Always a fun time. Um, always a fun time. 
Leave us a fun YouTube comment this week. Uh, okay. Good chance it'll be the review of the week tomorrow night. So uh, <laughs> leave us something good down there. There you go. And uh, if you leave it soon, I'll probably still be awake. I'll see it. I'll yeah. respond. Um, Me too. Yeah? Nah. Not, not, <laughs> not tonight. I'm going to be in a coffee shop tomorrow morning, though, hopefully. Hey, well. If my wife's sinuses are better. Okay. So um, I'll respond then. Okay, cool. Yeah. When are you coming over to Trey's tomorrow? Am I coming over tomorrow? Oh, are you not? Okay, sorry. Maybe you're not. <laughs> I thought it was Tuesday, Wednesday. <laughs> okay. I, well, maybe it's tomorrow. I'm coming over tomorrow. Maybe you're not. I don't think I am. Okay, cool. I think we're just going Tuesday, Wednesday, because you said you're not going to be there Wednesday. I won't be there Wednesday, yeah. so we'll probably write Tuesday for you, mm -hmm. Wednesday. Yeah. Cool. I have an idea I'm excited about. Maybe It's a weird one, so, but you know, this is kind of the ownership I was talking about. This is not a normal video. Do you I, I want to make a video about like a second aid kit. Okay. So it's not your That's first fun. aid kit. Yeah. It's not going to have gauze. It's not going to have band-aids. It's going to have like a warm grilled cheese. Okay. It's which is, which is nice. Second aid. Yeah. It's like, this isn't going to help directly, but like, it might make you feel better. I, like I think it. it'd be funny to just get very, like the more and more random and the more ridiculous that of like what like comes in a second aid kit. Yeah. I think which, that's great. We should do like a little 60 second sketch for yeah. like TikTok or something. Love it. So be thinking. Second aid kit. Second aid kit. Um, a final thought. I spent some quality time with my grandparents today and my grandma said something very poignant. Okay. today and i don't okay. think she realized that she said it she was talking about like we were talking to so and so and we were trying to make plans with them and i don't you know with your grandpa's health i don't know if we can and you know when you get to our age if you say you're going to do something you better do it now mm. and i thought about that and i was like i think that's good for any age yes if, if you want to do something you better do it now because you're yeah. you're not promised anything sure you have no idea what is ahead of you or what might happen or what could happen to you so sure. if you want to do something if you plan on doing something do it soon i like it yeah, I was like, good, good job, Grandma. Grandma. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, can I do a couple live or ending thoughts as well? <laughs> yeah, one of them is uh, my brother-in-law Sam and his wife Jackie had their baby. So shout out to baby Benjamin. Hey, babes, they're, they're ghosties. They listen. So shout out to you guys, baby Ben. Um, listen to all that you know newborn advice I gave you guys. Yeah. Um, second is my my mom's been sick the last couple of days. So mm. prayers for my mom. I hope she's better. Love you, mom. Yeah. If you're listening. You're my favorite mom I've ever had. Wow, you looked at Brad's so, butt a lot. Yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, but it was a good time for us. Yeah, hopefully <laughs> one on one. So anyway, hopefully love you. Yeah, you'd be surprised. <laughs> uh, crying room, you know. Yeah, lactation so, station. Love you guys. Thanks hope for listening to our talk show. Talk. See you tomorrow, but also see, in a week from today. See you tomorrow night next week. Rock Chalk Jayhawk. Ghost